Go check it out, the Opie and Anthony show. We got Bill Burr in studio. I'm just singing. Doing the Robert Plant <laughs> Yeah, part. doing the Robert Plant nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Making fun of my Robert Plant. Man, What's wrong man, with you? He can't sing. I still love his songs, though. Thanks. I never got to see Zeppelin live, so it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Although, yeah, you get some of those. Uh, what was the big one that everyone should have? Zepl- Zeppelin one? from the Garden. Oh, the what? song remains the same. Uh, yeah, the song remains the same. Documentary. Go. Yeah. No, Yikes. you got to get the one that just came out uh, like five years ago. Oh, the, uh, the big box set. The, yeah, the one that like, Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, That's them right. in their their yeah. peak. Yeah. Ugh. They pulled it off, Ant. They just had to tune down everything. <laughs> What's wrong? Horrible. What What happened? Yeah, what happened? Just they're, they're not good. They weren't good live. They just weren't. Did I you see them live? No, I saw films of them live. Like everybody else, Bill. Yeah. Oh. I All was, right, well, just I was like young was, then. He, he they, has, they had some pretty good live footage of him uh, on that Royal Apple no, Hall one. Well, Bill's uh, a little confused. Ant said they never sounded as good as they did on the record. Some, yeah. Some bands, you go see them in concert, they sound just as good as the records. And then maybe all the time, the singer couldn't do it. But Plant, he couldn't sing. For, he couldn't do the shit they did in the studio with him. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, he's like, oh. I had a dream. <laughs> Crazy dream. <laughs> They'll just, like, tune everything down. Why the fuck uh. are you going to wail like that through a 200-city tour? Give the guy a break. Hey, then don't fucking put it down in an album. Or don't tour. Be like fucking, what? Well, they should record Steely it a- after their, their year-long tour. <laughs> Jesus, Steely Dan, enough with those guys. <laughs> Be like Steely Dan petrified to go out on the road. So. That, that was the, yeah, that was the deal <laughs> yeah. with Steely Dan. They would spend like 20 years making an album and then they never toured. <laughs> they never toured because they Fucking got stage bizarre. fright or something. <laughs> bizarre guys, man. Those two were weird. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Still, it was a really weird band. Strange. You went to the hockey game last night, Bill? Yeah, Rangers. Uh, Devils. Devils, man. Good time. I, I was watching Rangers 3-zip, uh, right? Yeah. They're taunting uh, Brodeur. Yeah. I'm such an old bastard. I'm, I couldn't tell what they were saying. I kept thinking it was Eddie Belfour. Remember the guy who used to play for uh, Chicago? Right, right. That is very. I, I got to stop talking on my cell phone. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the hell is Marty? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> only the guy who's won the most <laughs> yeah, he's games as a goalie yeah, ever. He's only the greatest goalie of all time. <laughs> <laughs> if you consider yourself a hockey fan, you might want to know that. <laughs> Are you serious, dude? I am so bad with names. I swear to God, yeah. I'm really bad. <laughs> You see the Sean Avery stuff last night? Now, I'm a huge Islander fan, but I right. fucking love this Sean Avery. Love him. Dude, the guy, he drew like 16 minutes in penalties in like the, the final eight minutes. Yeah. Everybody on the Devils was so pissed at him, and he wouldn't <laughs> fight. I remember, uh, what's this, Brendan Shanahan went by? Yeah. And he, like, as he was skating to the bench, he was just like, uh, it was the end of his shift. He was so mad as Avery went by. You just see him grit his teeth, and he just thinks he kind of did like half a oh, slash. Oh, yeah, like, he uh, wants to. Yeah, like, I would just, maybe this is worth the 10-game suspension. <laughs> they were trying to get Sean Avery to fight all night long. Uh, at one point, uh, somebody pulled him down by his jersey to the ice twice, and yeah. Sean Avery wouldn't do anything. And, and I had company over, and I'm like, who's the wimp that doesn't want to fight on the Rangers? My brother goes, it's Sean Avery. I'm like, yeah. fucking brilliant. <laughs> He refused to fight, and, and and because he wouldn't fight, these guys are you know getting penalty minutes, no, he, which, which helped the Rangers, obviously. Yeah, he really took that whole role to a whole nother level. It was yeah. just the entire They couldn't even focus on trying to score a they goal. They were so frustrated by him last night. It was really, really good. <laughs> but he, he was dumb. He dropped his gloves. Uh, now we're going very inside with the hockey thing. He dropped his gloves, so it was kind of like a content, uh, intent, so they had to give him yeah, a couple they, minutes. Yeah, they were chanting his name basically the entire third period. As, yeah. I, as I was walking out of the building, they were chanting his name. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. God, I love players like that. And they had uh, Ty Domi was at the game. They oh, did, all right. They did a little Ty Domi interview uh, in between periods. He was an animal. Yeah. Like fucking animal! He finally retired, just smiling away. Now every just looking every for a known, problem, known to goon it up, and and he just wouldn't fight. He refused to fight last night. That's hysterical. It was awesome. It. I love. I love hockey fights. I mean, there's nothing better. But yeah. in this case, it was. It was so cool. He wasn't fighting. It's kind of funny to watch. Not well, yeah, watch him not fight, dude. At one point, I w- we should get the clip because you would even appreciate this. I know you're not a huge hockey fan. But they're pulling him on, down on the ice like he's a rag doll. This is Sean Avery. If you and look, he wasn't swinging. No, if you look at this guy, he'll fight you. 
Yeah, no, you, look you at just, him just kept looking over the ref like, really? Right. <laughs> really? Did yeah. he get yanked out again? Right. Really? What, 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 what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. So well, they were pissed at him from last year. He he. It was the first time. He's they'd... such like a he's such an instigator. He came up with something they never even thought they had to make a rule about. <laughs> right. He just was standing in front of the uh, Brodeur, Eddie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he just turned around and just put his hand like his glove, like right over his eyes. <laughs> but just a like, are you, are you fucking kidding me? He, he, yeah, that's he, hysterical. He, was, he just stood in front of him doing that. He well, just, kind of a child and he also did a thing. As he that. also was doing it with the stick and everything. He would just face him like this. Oh, that's what he did. No, he had the stick yeah. straight up and down, and he, he was just doing this. Yeah. He, like so now. <laughs> They made basically what an asshole. <laughs> that's exactly it. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, Everyone gets. Oh, just is that's on YouTube. Shit out of people. Because now there's like a, a new rule. It's, they're basically calling it the Sean Avery rule, where you're not allowed to turn around and just face the goalie face to face and just taunt him like that. I think they should keep that hockey. It's hysterical. Because you're going to lose your yeah. head if you do it too many times. The team will not allow that. No. So, yeah, that's now illegal. He came up with this. Bro you think they came up with everything in hockey, but he, he came up with something new. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's funny. I know it's sacrilege to like Sean Avery if you're an Islander fan. Come but. on, after he said Fuck. the entire league's getting his sloppy seconds, that was one of yeah. the funniest oh, lines yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. respect all that. <laughs> Absolutely. Good line. Wait, how would the team let him go? <laughs> Here, watch this. This is the Sean Avery rule. I know it's uh, – you got it there, Danny? Probably coming up. Hold on a minute. Yeah. There, he is, there he is. Oh, oh yeah, look. He's got the stick in front of his face. Totally blocking the goalie. He's got the stick up. Look at this. And the goalie gets so pissed. He's, like, punching him and trying to, like, <laughs> guard the asshole. net at the same time. Look, like he's just... <laughs> it's worth checking out on YouTube. Wow, do you never just want to smash him? Yeah. Well, now that's illegal this year because of... Uh... Because of Sean. That was like illegal the very next game. I, I believe so. They said this, no. yeah, said this could this be thing. a problem. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he get cut by a team for saying what he said about the sloppy second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars. Well, yeah, then the why rain... would they cut him? Wow. Well, because mm. they're trying to have a wholesome image down there in Dallas. Yeah, they want the wholesome. family to come to the game. It's all jerk-off booths in Dallas. You ever been to Dallas? It's all strip clubs. <laughs> Is it? And fucking massage parlors. Yeah, you can get jerked off every 30 feet in Dallas. <laughs> fucking great city. <laughs> and Jimmy, Jimmy knows it. Look, yeah. I was going to say, I've been to Dallas, I, I never measure. noticed that. Yeah. Dude, it's all fucking jerk-off shacks and fucking killed president fucking monuments. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, they really get wholesome in Dallas where they're not murdering yeah, the Yeah, right? <laughs> we're, we're milking cum out of your dick for 50 bucks. <laughs> Praise to his name. <laughs> in all fairness, because I don't want to be crucified uh, today, there is another angle on the Sean Avery thing, so we got to play the other side for a couple okay. phone calls, and then we'll uh -huh. move on. Brian and Poughkeepsie, go ahead, Brian. Hey, guys. Love you. Love the show. Of course you do. Uh, right. Of course I do. Uh, got to qualify this first. I'm a Devils fan, so obviously it's going to come from a different angle. Uh, Devils fucking suck right now. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But Avery doesn't fight like he's a cheap shot artist still hack you in the mouth with his stick and then when you drop your gloves you know like a man and you want to fight mm -hmm. he won't he'll yep. do that thing where he looks at the ref like come on what are you gonna do you gonna help me out here yeah he's uh he's been known to do uh do that as well he's just obnoxious all the way around he just pisses everybody yeah. off <laughs> i would say that that gets was it steve ott i'd say he's more of a cheap shot guy there you go all right brian Jeez, let, uh, let it be known there's a bunch of people saying he's a pussy and he's a piece of shit and all that so really? there you go that's the other side of the argument I just like watching him play. Oh yeah, no, I'm just it was just fun. <laughs> really... it's just funny watching one guy be able to piss off twenty guys. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So the hockey game is good, huh, Bill? Yeah. And we definitely, got definitely a good time. We're still pushing the Trump Arena Saturday. Yep. Billbird.com. Billbird.com, myspace.com right. slash Bill Burr. Still on MySpace. You're the last guy in MySpace. What's wrong with you? It's all about Twitter. Let's go. Oh, it is. The whole world's doing Twitter now. Every day there's Twitter no, stories. Not. Yeah, Twitter. No, they're not. Actually, we it's, got it's our Twitter rumor. story of the day. We should do that. It's just a rumor, Opie. What's with these, uh, this uh, internet uh, worm? What happened? I don't know. It's supposed to pop, what, today? And then what happens? I don't know. It eats your computer? It's something that uh, you could have it on your uh, computer now. It's just been sitting in wait. Mm -hmm. It's called Conficker. Conficker? Conficker. Yes. Who's click on Conficker? Win Conficker. Do you have to it click on it? No, it could be in your computer, and it's, like, all set to go off on, like, one day. Not mine, because I got a brand new computer. I bet you they figured what out What if you did it yesterday? Thing. What'd I do? What if you uh, just downloaded it yesterday by accident? Um, I, d I didn't download shit yesterday. I'm good. We on a website? Uh-oh. Think? Might, uh -oh. might have gotten it there. I so. got a Mac. There you go. What's it doing? 
Nothing. I actually got it. I threw it on my screen. I said, go ahead. What do you got? Fuck. Try me. Go exactly. Ahead. Put it on the keyboards. I mushed it in. Nothing. <laughs> you mushed in a virus. Like, it's like, go ahead. Now what? Show me what you can do. Yeah, I kept trying to open it. You laugh at worms, right, Jimmy? Fucking go ahead. Worm schmurm. <laughs> I actually got that tattooed on my back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sam studying the fine gifts we got for the audience today. I see we're giving yes. away the uh, virus rug there, Sam. That's crazy. What? The actual virus rug? Yes, we're giving away the virus rug. We're cleaning house today. We got a, a, a huge array of prizes today. Yeah, what do we got? Just quickly, because... Uh... I mean, we got sports jerseys with your guys' names on them. We have well, the sides from the stripper pole here. The sides, the bases. Oh, oh with the XM wow. logo. So oh, wow! Nice. I was gonna say why. Kenny then, goes. Of course, Kenny logo. goes. See, that was a misprint. They printed up WX. Uh, he didn't say that. <laughs> he did. Oh, we've got a a Derek Blair exclusive. It's a bottle of wine with a picture of the guy from Clockwork Orange, and it says "Good Wine" <laughs> on the label. Shouldn't it just say try the wine, though? No, I, I'm pleased you appreciate good yeah, wine. Yeah, all right. Have yeah. another glass. Please, you appreciate good wine. Wine? You appreciate good wine? <laughs> I was just losing his <laughs> fucking mind. What an uncomfortable man to dine with. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> try the wine. Can enjoy the food with that nut looking at you like that? <laughs> yeah. Sam, we were just talking hockey. I see an Islanders jersey over there. <laughs> yes, this is the official Anthony But Anthony New York doesn't York. really like hockey. I remember hockey. when I... No, I didn't like it, but I played... Uh, I was on the team. Yes. Back, you remember, during yeah, the uh, sure. drive for five? Yeah, yeah. Anthony was out there. <laughs> yeah. After four he Stanley Cups. He had a mustache over there. Yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> trots. Trots with the cop mustache. Yeah. <laughs> we have... Uh, they're say, Fast Freddy saying, Sean Avery equals the ultimate pest. That's a perfect way to describe yeah. Sean Avery. Sure. Every, under, under everyone's skin. Yes, uh, Sam. We have the lyrics of uh, Shit Dicks... Uh, that was written on by Richard Cheese. Oh, oh wow. wow. He did the lounge wow, version of Shit Dick. All right. That's, that's actually been floating around the studio since that day. It, <laughs> we, so we've somehow managed to never throw it away, and it's actually got handwritten notation, like, <laughs> with with wow. the words to Shit Dick written all over sure, it. Sure, why would you throw that? That is something. That's an item. It's, it's a collector's collectible. item. I got a little more info on the, uh, the virus thing. Uh, Roy S. writes uh, from Boston, the virus is supposed to be activated on computers tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Guess what tomorrow is. April right Fool's Day. That's right, Jimmy! Oh. Uh, Oh, so it's an April Fool's gag. It could be. Could hey, be. this is uh, another April Fool's we're on the air. I think out of all of our years on, on uh, in in the business mm -hmm. that we call show, mm -hmm. we've probably been on the air for three April Fools. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we don't have anything planned. Or do no. we? Or do we? Oh! Or do we? Oh! Guys, oh! I have an announcement. Yeah, Jimmy, I'm quitting tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> Sam just laughing. <laughs> All right, what else there, Sam? A cordless joystick. Hey, I remember that. Yeah. And so you'll be able to maybe shoot some laser beams or fly <laughs> some planes on your home PC with this cordless joystick. That's how you steer the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Into your computer. Yeah, through your registry. But doesn't it need a receiver? No, it's cordless. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> see, but works was, on all computers. <laughs> there was another piece, yeah, no, that went not. into the computer, and these people aren't using, and them that's for... how it knew. <laughs> but but it's the open yeah. Anthony office cordless joystick. I'm, a, right. I'm gonna I'm excited to see what a listener does with that because there somebody took Sit the on it. somebody took the XM <laughs> mic flag yesterday, <laughs> and, and and it was a nice accessory to their bong. <laughs> They oh, put it on their really? bong. On their so bong? They're taking this stuff home and making it into something else. I actually saw <laughs> the guy. See. <laughs> the guy who won the mystery box. Yeah. Yesterday, I actually saw him when I left. He yeah. was halfway down the block and he was taking a break. He had literally had to put the box on. That'd be kind of heavy. I, I got. Well, Sam's got it too. We got an update on the mystery box. Yeah. What happened with? Please him? tell me that guy died. <laughs> <laughs> I too saw him dragging the mystery box down the sidewalk when we left. Uh, the mystery box is back. Up here. Because you know when you saw him put it down to take a break? Yeah. Uh, he went home. <laughs> <laughs> he just left it. So we said, fuck that. We're bringing the mystery box back up here. He left right. it in the in, on the sidewalk? <laughs> yes. With all, those, uh, it's with all those books from yesterday? That, that was bizarre. Literature. <laughs> yeah. I jumped in a cab and I saw that other guy walking down the street with that little doll in the box. Yeah. It just looked like... <laughs> yeah. 
What an ingrate. Yeah. We give him our garbage. And he doesn't want it. <laughs> Treats it like that. Sam, what else? A Chris Benoit action figure. Oh, oh shit. For real. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow, that's kind of Let's good. make some adjustments on that action figure. Yeah. Make Isn't that very kind special. of a collector's item? It's I, mint in package. I don't think they'll be making any more of those. No, no they ceased production. Yeah. Did they? Why? Well, uh, so did the Benoits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we have several, several banners here, like the uh, oh, banners. St. Patrick's Day banner. <laughs> a banner. Banner. And, uh, it's a very I pleasant voice, like Sam. Subway this is from something. New York. I and what? It. A poster? It's like a, your subway ad with you guys and Steve Dahl on it, that really big one that used to be hanging oh, wow. out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah, collector's item. Yeah. Somebody's going home with that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> what else? That's about it? Oh, an array of uh, event t-shirts. Like, here's a t-shirt from Jimmy Day. We all remember Jimmy yes, Day. Yes, Jimmy oh, Day. Sure. What a hit. The that Million was... Pest March. Remember that oh, one, guys? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. You can have the t-shirts from those events. Sam, why don't you get a little crazy and give something out right now? On, oh, my Sam, God. So unexpected. Okay. What do you want to give out? Right now, we're going to give out one of our comedian prize packs. All right. Which includes an Andrew Dice Clay <laughs> cap. That's the cap that Danny was wearing. And it's famous now because that it's was... on Twitter now. Yeah, yeah it's extra I, famous. I, I threw that on uh, Twitter, so now yep. it's a famous wow. hat. So it barely fit the... on Danny's head. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead, Sam. You've seen this hat on Opie's Twitter. Yeah. And you could win it. An Andrew Dice Clay flyer. Yeah. And a signed uh -oh. Jim Norton at Caroline's poster. Wow. Ooh. Wow. And let's see who the big lucky winner is. Look at them waddling across this. Those be, fucking those excitement out there. Giant pointed the wrong way feet. They're fucking awful. Yeah. It's a fever pitch out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fever pitch. And these prizes go to this man in the sideways cap. Yay! Yay! Wow. wow. Lucky right. you. Look at that. It's like he didn't even ask for it. Hey, you got a very... Uh, uh, excited crowd out there, Sam. They're all they got some excited. nice energy. Yeah, they all want to win some nice prizes today. Somebody's going home with a cup of dirt. Oh, that's right, the Brian yeah. Regan signed cup of dirt. Yes. Yeah, maybe yeah. they should know it's signed by Brian Regan. And one person will get the hat that E Rock has worn for the last four years. Anybody want to smell oh. the E Rock hat? I yeah, smelled it. It didn't oh. smell that bad. I'm sure it was. Can someone smell the E Rock hat? Yes, I smelled it for real. I did. You'll smell the E Rock hat. <laughs> what does it smell like, sir? Uh, ass. Gagging. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oof. He sweated a lot. It smells like hat. an extra chromosome. <laughs> or chromosome. <laughs> I know, I always fuck that word up. Chromosome. I always say chromosome, but I Mr. mean... Mr. Chromosome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sam? We have a Voss Sucks t-shirt signed by Rich Voss. Oh, ah. wow. All right. I think it's time to give away the uh, the base bases of the stripper, stripper pole. pole. Okay. Oh, wow, that's not the big one for the end, huh? No. <laughs> That's the XM logo. Wow, look if, at that. If you have a stripper pole at home that you're not allowed to have naked girls on, yeah, um, yeah this, this is perfect for This is the fucking for gift for you. Yeah. Let's see, who gets the first one? Yeah. This one goes to Miss Snuggy. Yay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, wow. Yeah. Who's going to want to take that? What a lucky bitch. <laughs> look how big that virus sign is. You can yeah, barely just... get through the door with those stupid feet pointing out. <laughs> That thing's like, I know. That's not true. That's the thing is like eight Keep thinking wide. of Bowser from Sha Na Na. <laughs> there goes camera six. He looks like he's walking on fucking <laughs> skis. Let's go on fucking with you. Yeah. It's cold. That's eight feet wide, uh, long, that virus sign. Yeah. Yes, yes, Sam. Go ahead. This next base goes to that man in the white hat over there. But what if he doesn't want it, Sam? He won it. All right. He wants it. Of course he wants it. It's a prize. All right. And one more. Oh, this, no. Well, we have four of them. Get yeah. rid of those dumb things. Well... So it has a, it's a big XM logo, basically. People are like avoiding eye contact at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's <laughs> they, like they do not want to be picked. To have That's to the take beauty this of garbage. Us. We force you to take our <laughs> junk. <laughs> Every young lady likes one side of the base of a stripper pole, so this one goes to you. Yay. Oh, man. And finally, yeah. the fourth and final side. Uh huh. Goes to you because you weren't looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't carry this home. Uh, 
Well, you guys can trade among yourselves. Tough fucking luck. Yeah, we don't give a shit what you do with this stuff after we give it to you. Just don't leave it behind, please. I'm all the way from Worcester. Worcester, Mass. Worcester, Mass. I came here from Worcester. Yeah, why can't you take it home? It won't. It's going to make your car too heavy. It weighs three pounds. <laughs> no, but you've been walking around the city all day. Would you drive a motorcycle? <laughs> Imagine you have to bring that. Can be walking around the city all yeah, day. Carrying that. <laughs> we, yeah. just, we just have Kenny follow him to make sure he has it on his possession the entire time. He's don't put York. it down. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a collector's item. <laughs> Sam, you dropped something. How about <laughs> Sam? Give one. Th oh no, the Norton thing was pretty cool. Yeah, the Norton thing was right, good. That was and the cool. bases of the stripper. Wow, what really is nice. this now? What the fuck? Mars is bringing in a bunch of. Oh how, how wow! The fuck, are you gonna carry that around? An Opie and Anthony sign that used to be hanging up in here, but isn't anymore. That's uh, gigantic too. <laughs> that's at least yeah. that's at least eight feet across. And about three and a half feet high. Yeah, you like that, Worcester? You could have been carrying that shit around. Yeah. <laughs> Try carrying that around. <laughs> Who the fuck's going to take that home? I don't know. That is really We could cut it really up and just big. give out pieces and then make them do a puzzle or something. Wow, that is a big one. Uh, oh, Sam's holding something in his hand. Are Another you... great prize to give away. Right now. It's a pair of blue jeans signed by Fat Boy Slim and a ripped poster signed by Chris Angel, the mind freak. <laughs> <laughs> the mind free. <laughs> Fat Boy Slim Jeans signed. Yes. And these all go. Look at everybody just looking down at their shoes. <laughs> Nobody wants no one this. wants Why? This is stuff that's been in our office for years. Years. I think they're just overwhelmed by the moment. Yeah. All right. It's very exciting out here. These are all going to this man in the green jacket. All right. Thank you, Sam. We're going <laughs> to we're going to take it from there. We're going to take it from you here. All right, Bill Burr in studio today. Thank you, Sam. More You're stuff welcome. to give away in a little while. Really? Oh, we got something. tons of stuff. Yeah, obviously. Oh, obviously. yeah. This is like reminding me when Oprah gave away those cars. You know? <laughs> yeah, just like it's it. Same kind of excitement out there. Just like it, yeah. <laughs> well, Oprah has a nice budget to work with. Yeah. <laughs> We're lucky to have jobs at this point. What a bunch of garbage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Twitter story of the day, Ann. Oh, it's worth What's it. What's that? Everyone's Twittering. Listen to this one. Everyone knows Mark Cuban, right? He's been on our show a bunch of times. Sure. Owner of the Dallas Mavericks. He's in a little trouble for Twittering. All right, and here's a draw from Mark Cuban. The billionaire Dallas Mavericks owner has been fined by NBA officials for commenting on league referees on his Twitter page. He tweeted about them. <laughs> Mr. Cuban posted several tweets questioning the lack of technical foul calls made during a particular game between the Mavericks and the Nuggets. In response to the fine, Mr. Cuban tweeted, you can no longer say that no one makes money from Twitter now. What a Johnson. <laughs> wow, that's the best part of the story. What? The newsman said, what a Johnson. He yeah. basically was calling him a dick. Call him a dick right there. So, he had a tweet Twitter? about the, uh, the refs. Twitter problem. See, that Twitter, I mean, it's just amazing, man. Just the kind of oh, the, the, the stuff that right, goes let's on go with there. This. I, I know where you're going. What? Conspiracy? What do you no, got? no, I'm not going with that. What do you got just, on the... I don't understand all the fucking excitement about, no, 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 about no, no, Twitter. No, 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 But you're a conspiracy guy. Mm -hmm. Social networking in general. You don't even have to go with Twitter. You got the Facebook, you got the Twitter, you got the MySpace. You think mm -hmm. there's some kind of conspiracy involved with this whole thing? No. What's the angle uh, there? No. No. Come on. What's, I'm serious. No, I'm not one of these guys who just thinks there's a man in the moon watching us. I just was more into that banker stuff. <laughs> yeah. But as far as Twitter goes, I just think that's... Uh, Silly? Yeah. Mm. People are losing their jobs over it, though. Heard that on the news this morning. People are people are stupid, and they're uh, twittering things and uh, putting things on their Facebook and MySpace and whatnot. Uh, that says that their job sucks. They're they're bored at their job. Oh, My boss is a the boss is an asshole. Yeah, and they'll just they'll put that there, and then they get fired. Yeah, but how do they find out unless they're out, unless they're they, twittering there's too? There's rats. There's rats. You gotta be Somebody be a rat at the office and be like, oh, hey, look at what man. this person wrote. You got on a there. rat in the house. Some got a rat. Sometimes I wish I was a criminal. With the Facebook yeah. and the Twitter, man, it's it's so easy. You got these dummies like, well, update. I'm in Disney with my entire family. Not yes. coming back to May first. Left the house alone. So and then, psyched. And then you look a little <laughs> further in the Facebook. Their addresses there, pictures of their house. Think I forgot to lock the door. Right. Update. <laughs> oh no, I'm here at Disney. And I forgot to lock my door. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. You gotta think someone out there is using that info nicely. Yeah. For their own benefit. Yeah. Sure. Dummies. You want another Twitter story? This is a good There's one another too. Twitter Dude, every story. Every day. Oh, uh, bathroom cam story. Uh, also wow. in Nassau County, apparently. Huh? 
Ew. I think that was at a restaurant, like a horrible So how's this going to yeah. work? Is Twitter going to kill Facebook? Not really. Facebook they're, is huge. Yeah, they're a little different. It's the biggest Twitter. in the world right now. Uh, well, how do you Facebook say Facebook is the biggest in the world. Fa Facebook. Facebook, yeah. yeah. Okay. Twitter's like uh, you're texting. Twitter is uh, you're just mass just, texting just, Yeah, people. you're mass texting. You put a text out so there for more. everyone to check in on. And so say. is that what it's going to be like for the rest of the career? you got to keep chasing the herd? I don't know. I suppose why I didn't go from MySpace <laughs> chasing the herd, to, yeah. to, to Facebook. I'm going to go add the same 30,000 douchebags I already had. Yay! Yeah, you just move yeah. them around your, your social networks. You take them from one, put them in the other. Jimmy? You look like you want to say something. It's kind of a weird thing with this Facebook and all, and, and especially the texting. It's this weird silent communication. People are kind of. It, it's like look, fast forward, say fifty years from now, with this ability, it, it's almost like an evolution. Like people are fucking going to be silently communicating. Mm. It's like we're all going into one fucking uh, way of communicating with each other without even speaking. Like you know, you always think of aliens as being so mysterious and oh, they they don't talk. They just think and they know what the other person is thinking. Whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> We maybe we're a few hundred years away from that, or a thousand years away from that. We or just need little little machines to do it with right now. I, Dude, once we need we, little electric machines. They will eventually, because they can already figure out how you can think and move a fake limb. That's beginning to take hold. So fast forward a couple of years where you can think and text. That's a very possible thing. Um, mm -hmm. Once you're saying, let's say, in your head. There's a, ch a chip in your head or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that's scary. But it's not as crazy as you think. It'll there's... it'll detect diseases. They, 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 it'll fucking do all. Yeah, they hook it up to your your fucking brain. Did you cheat on your taxes? And mm. they say, oh shit, they mm. know. You see yeah. That? It'll be they beyond that, though. Thought? It, it'll, it'll be, be beyond that, everything. though, because even oh, the people yeah. asking you, did you cheat on your taxes, will be subjected to the same kind of fucking thought you know, scrutiny. Let me ask you something, because we were like just, fun. We were just talking about this again yesterday. How how many phone calls? For real, Ant. I ask you especially. How many phone yeah. calls have you made on your iPhone in the last two days? For real. I think I've made one. I'll start. I, probably two. I, I made one, maybe two. But I've probably texted in the last two days. Oh, my God. 40 to 50 times easy. Yeah. And that's how I communicate with people. I don't like To actually use calls, this yeah. to, to make a phone call is, is so primitive at this point. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It, I, See, I, I got the flip phone. Like, do you, are you making ah, a lot of phone wow. calls up? Oh well, you're you got to upgrade the, your phone. The flip phone. But if you got an iPhone or a BlackBerry or some of these other you know fancier Gadgets, phones, you're yeah. not using it to make phone calls anymore. It has gone beyond the point where it's your phone. Right. It's not just a phone. You say I'm going to get a phone. You do something like this. I don't use it as a phone. <laughs> People call occasionally. I'll pick it up. You get bothered for the most it, part. You get bothered when it rings like a phone. Yeah, you're like, like oh, what is that? Why are you calling me? Oh. Text me your your. I notice that your when thoughts. my when my phone rings these days, like I start panicking. Like I don't want to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like ah. And then why I say, didn't you text exactly. Me? That's exactly. And like I, you, you have your four minute phone call. And you're like, why couldn't they just text me then? Mm. Just text me. Mm. And then with between the the apps that you put on, like the iPhone, my email. Web browser, mm -hmm. I, I could pretty much do whatever I need to do. And now they're doing things where, uh, where advertising that you pass by, uh, it, it, your phone throws off a signal, and uh, what you've been browsing and looking through can end up on a billboard uh, based on what you, yeah, what you're looking at. That'd wow. be hilarious. Which would be that explains all those ads for children's clothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Wow, Dan, do you own fucking animals? <laughs> every time I walk by here. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, Jesus, Vince, be embarrassing if one I'm really walks falling by and behind the times. Two ads come up on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Vagisil. <laughs> no, her husband. Her husband. They, they, her husband and wife walk by for it's Vagisil and clothespins. <laughs> <laughs> Why are all these plastic fists popping up everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vince from Bayonne, he uh, writes, A recruiter called my wife to schedule an interview, then asked her about her broken toe. He'd found out about it by searching out her Facebook page. Mm. So even prospective employers check out your social networking stuff. Absolutely. People do. throw a lot of stuff up there that's kind of like, eh, you, you know, investigators with? must love it. Private eyes and shit. They must love this stuff because oh. it's so easy to get information on people. The whole case is right there. Yeah. In some cases. Everything. Here's another Twitter story, and then we'll move on. It's just after 7 a.m. at Henry Ford Hospital, and a surgical team is about to embark on a complicated cancer surgery. Let's do this. They're ready to go. Doctors, <laughs> check. <laughs> Nurses, check. This is Twitter, check. No! no! Really? What do you mean? Tumor, Dude, check. Dude, I've been operated on for cancer. I don't want to hear my doctor going, all right, let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. 
We're going in. You think he's like, yeah. All right. <laughs> First, let me tweet. I have to tweet. Mm-hmm. Is that what it's called? Tweeting? Yeah. <laughs> I know <laughs> what I call it. I say twittering. By the way, it's probably the fucking patient who sent this out. He probably sent it out to go in for my surgery now. I hope you that's what uh, it was. No. Oh, no, it's not. That's the doctor. Yeah. Twitter? Right. So we are twittering? Oh, good. That's right. Surgery meets social networking. The surgeons are twittering the Hate entire woman, procedure the for all the world to read. So why are you twittering a surgery? We're trying to use this as a way to get the word out. Teaching via Twitter. Dr. Craig Rogers and his team want people to know about a relatively new technique to remove a cancerous tumor on the kidney without having to remove the entire kidney. Oh. Wow, live tweeting of surgery from Michigan, tweets one follower. While Dr. Rogers <laughs> performs the robotic surgery, Chief Resident Dr. Raj Langani documents what's going on in real time. Isn't that weird? I don't know what to make of that. I, I was so annoyed listening to her <laughs> fucking voice. Yeah. And, and wow! I couldn't <laughs> take listening See to it? her. Right there. They finally reach the tumor, but then Dr. Langani has to tweet some bad news. My gosh, this is big. Dr. Longani immediately lets the Twitterverse know this the tumor has been yeah. isolated and it is penetrating very deep into the kidney. Uh oh. Okay, Spencer, let's talk this through. Spencer. They may have to remove the entire kidney, and that's exactly what they didn't want to do. Dr. Rogers knows the Twitter universe is watching. You suck! Could I have picked a harder case for this? Adding to the tension? They have only 30 minutes to get the tumor out before a lack of blood flow damages the kidney. And a bad Wi-Fi then connection. Then there's another problem. <laughs> They're having trouble controlling the bleeding. And I'm going to need you to suck like there's no tomorrow. Just in the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isolate. <laughs> All right, we got something out of this dumb <laughs> news story. Get that immediately isolated. This guy's a surgeon. <laughs> I need you to suck like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh. Let me get back there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> New instant replay sound. There's another problem. They're having trouble controlling the bleeding. And I'm going to need you to suck like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, crisis diverted. What? In the end, Dr. Rogers saves the whole kidney and shares the good news with the Twitterverse. Nice Twittering. Nice, nice Twittering. You're a master Twitter. <laughs> yeah. What an amazing story. It's not amazing. No, it's not amazing. What, what an amazing story. What is amazing about story. that? It'd be funny if you fucked the guy's kidney up by dropping his phone onto the kidney. <laughs> He's <laughs> twittering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking news guys have nothing to say. No. Yeah. What an amazing, amazing story. He was so like, what an amazing story. I think he was trying to draw out even... the sentence waiting for something else to come up on the teleprompter. Yeah, yeah. What an amazing yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next up on the news. Let's go to uh, Mark in Jersey. He's using the social networking uh, sites for his job. What's up, Mark? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey, well, hey man. I'm a repossession agent, and my company actually found cars to rep that we were looking for that are repos through MySpace, Facebook, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, see? These guys are using uh, a lot of, it. A lot, of, a lot of times we'd uh, you know, uh, find them on Facebook or something, and we'd see a uh, familiar-looking apartment complex through their pictures, and we'll be like, oh, wow, it's right there. Or another one I had, a girl went to Rutgers College, and she supposedly lived in South Jersey, and she had all over Facebook, proud student of Rutgers, two thousand class of 2010, and there I go, drive through the Rutgers dorms, and there's my car. That's hilarious. <laughs> there you go. It's happening. Wow. I knew this was happening. I was thinking I'm more like the out, criminals, but there you go, a repo guy. How do they find them on Facebook? Do they actually use their real name to further their moronic yeah, are, behavior? Yeah, people are dumb. Oh, yeah. Here's my house. Here's my new car. Here's this. Here's that. Here's my naked kids in a bathtub. That's, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? There's pedos out there, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, you ever think that when they have the, they try to have those cute diaper commercials? Yeah, of you just like somebody's rubbing one out to this right now. Why, I, why yeah. are you doing this? Yeah. T photos. Oh, Uncle <laughs> oh, Paul. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, that's Uncle Paul. I don't like the Huggies kid. The Pampas kid is good though. <laughs> <laughs> Huggies kid's ugly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> do that again, dude. That's fucking awesome. That's that's that Pampas kid's got 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 skin like a oh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> She's a good girl. It's a creep. It's the creepiest voice I've ever heard. Creep. You was a cute baby when you was young, Billy. <laughs> I used to babysit you, change your diapers. Uh, damn. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh God, what is she doing? Well, that's not. Right. She's riding around on a tiny. She's tight roping two feet in the air. What Dead. a challenge! <laughs> just the news is just ridiculous. How much legs on What did they do to her? Does she do traffic anymore? No. Okay. <laughs> just like I threw her in so. the, yep. threw it out on the street. <laughs> Look at how elongated Emily Francis's fucking head looks. Whoa! With that new hairdo. <laughs> The mm. hair don't, Jimmy. Ah! Oh, oh, good gravy. <laughs> that was funny. It's a hair don't. It's a hair doo doo. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> we could go into. We got a uh, woman calling 911 over beer. Oh, God. Is this a good one there, Danny? I didn't hear this one. Burr? What do you got oh, on this? It's fun with beer all the time. <laughs> I love the beer. Uh, What's well, wrong with the beer we got? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. Yeah, I drink pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Of course, we all know that. Stella Artois. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got on the burr? Newcastle. <laughs> Howling Monkey. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> Uh, this lady called 911, not one, not two, but three times. Over her beer? Oh. Over her beer. Um, I don't want to give it away. You could just... Play. All right, let's take a lesson here. Um, uh, the emergency is, um, there's a problem with, uh, there's a real problem, actually. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> there's an argument that's going totally out of control. I don't want to go to jail. Uh. He don't want to go to jail. I understand. Okay, so you guys are just arguing right now. I think I gotta stop. What? I, what? I couldn't understand yeah. what. <laughs> What he is doesn't going want to go on, to jail. She He's, doesn't want to go to jail. Yeah. Understand. I heard that. So don't call 911. <laughs> right. Well, she's a good way she's, to not go to jail. She's, yeah. a, she's absolutely hammered on the phone at 911. Yeah. Apparently, there's been a disturbance at her residence. Her roommate, boyfriend, whatever it is, has taken her beer. We don't find that out for a little, for a little while. Mm -hmm. At this point, it's just an insanely drunk person calling 911. And she is, she is difficult mm -hmm. to, to understand. And believe me, I understand that. Uh, and there's good reason that I left all that in <laughs> because she, yeah. eventually the 911, uh, uh, excuse me, the caller gets mad at the 911 operator for going, I excuse me, what? Like, and she actually thinks that she's being fucked with. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, so you guys are just arguing right now? Pardon me? You're just arguing? It's, it's, right now just arguing it yet. What are you arguing about? Beer. Huh? Beer. I'm, I'm totally embarrassed for you to say that. But yeah, it's about beer. What is your phone number? And he just took my beer out of my head. That's a lot. What is your phone number, ma'am? Um, what's the phone, phone number? Well, my, uh, my cell phone number is And your cell phone number I'll get somebody out there. Please, because he got my, my beer and he, he bought it for me. No. Okay, I'll get somebody out there. That's a lot. And I'm trying to get my beer back. He kind of... Maybe yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please hurry. Okay. Please, <laughs> please hurry. Got my beer. What's the problem with the beer? She, I, I, the guy's what, drinking her beer. From what it sounds like, she's ripped, and he probably said, "Okay, it's time for you to stop drinking," and then took her beer away. So yeah. she called nine one one. Oh my god! She calls back. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Well, well of and doesn't understand why a cop showed up. Yeah. Okay, tell police. Yep. There were two cops just came to my apartment for no reason. For no reason. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> ah, this dummy. Oh, lock her up. <laughs> just came to my apartment for no reason. You called 911. They're going to check it out. Please hurry. And the last <laughs> thing was, <laughs> please hurry. <laughs> just came to my apartment. For no reason. No for reason. no reason. Yeah, for no reason. Nobody called him out here. Yeah, somebody did. did. I did it. Yeah, you did. Who? Oh, what's my name? Where? No, I call you this job. I'm, I'm so sorry. I have to get back. 
I'll tell you how early the people selling fucking drugs in front of my, 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 my beer. That's the only kind of man to you. Do you have it now? I heard you the first time that you called. Okay. Do you have a recorded or in there? Yes, it's recorded. Okay, then. Ah, uh, get that to me. I only call you guys for a drug deal. And now I'm getting in trouble because you can hear me now. Now, you didn't call me for a drug deal. You said that your roommate took your beer from you and wouldn't give it back to you. I don't call you for no reason. Okay. Why you call them now? I don't do that. Well, and then, why? when they come out, it's like, oh, it's all on me. Okay. And I ain't getting nothing. Well, you just called ten minutes ago about your roommate taking your beer. I, honestly, I don't remember that. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> what did you say? I said, honestly, I don't remember that. Okay. <laughs> honestly, I don't. You know how this call should end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or how about <laughs> Obama president now? <laughs> there it is. She didn't remember that she had called nine one one. The operator says she's like, "You called ten minutes ago." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I called for a drug deal. What? We got one more, one more uh, bit ah, of a yeah. This is where uh, it gets really good. <laughs> yeah, the because, dramatic conclusion. Well, you know, everybody who gets that drunk has to start crying at some point. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's part of the rules. Yeah, right? I think it is part of the, the drunken phone call playbook. I love you, man. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. You know, hey, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I can't understand you. I can't hear you. What? I didn't, I didn't think it was perfectly on purpose with a mat. What? <laughs> when I say, say to you, I'm calling for a certain reason, you come in on the telephone like, oh, she is fucking crazy that drunk. I I'm not. I didn't say that, ma'am. <laughs> but that's how you talking to me, though. No. I, yes. did, I never said that to you. Then I'm not like me. Okay, you know what? When they come like me, I'll come like me. Come like me. I have to do it, I guess, right? Huh? <laughs> I can't stand it. Look! <laughs> I said, if you want to fucking lock me up, come fucking lock me up. That's what I fucking said. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> that bitch am crazy. Oh, she's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> the uh, beer we have, it drank pretty good. <laughs> Budweiser. Uh, what's the name of some of them other beers? Budweiser and what is it? Miller. Miller. <laughs> cool. Cool. It drank pretty good, don't it? <laughs> it yeah. drank pretty good. The beer murder one is my f maybe better. Beer? They was all over a beer. They beer? said they had a beer that they didn't have no beer. And they, and they won a beer. They were hanging around to get a beer. Called, the mailman gave me a dime. I was just They were all over a beer. They probably took his beer and then shot him. <laughs> I took his burn and he shot that him. Could, that might have been the same lady. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> sober. Yeah, sober. Right? Oh my god. The Miller chime in is my fucking favorite piece of audio Mo? in years. Mill? 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 No. Dude, how, how long ago was that? That was like <laughs> almost a year ago. Yeah, it's got to be a year. Still, I still do that once no. a day at least. We no. always, I know. Constantly do that bit. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to figure out what a brossage is. Oh, no. Doing, what is it? Oh, They're doing wait, chick uh, chat. Their new bit, chick chat. With two chat, guys chat. there now. Three gals yeah. and two guys. They're doing like the, the view is out here there in New now. York City on, on, on the news. And the uh, doctor... A brassage. Oh, it's a brassage. What's a brassage? When you massage the tits? Yeah, hopefully. I don't know what it means. That's what I call it when I'm on the train and I just grab them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I bellow into her face. Uh, Sounds like a bro brocabulary God. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah sure. They're really uh, trying hard what to revamp a, this oh Pick's news. What's a brassage? I, uh... Yes, there. Saw a story on it this yes. morning. It was a br it's it's a brazier that is being marketed as being able to prevent cancer, 
and uh, <laughs> ABC News, I think, interviewed the woman that developed it, and she got all defensive during the interview. How the fuck does it By prevent massaging cancer? the bosom. And what does that what, do? Is battery operated? No, not, not battery operated at all. So how the fuck does the bra... There's exactly actually a little it's... person in there. That's why they have... The... <laughs> a little midget. That's why they have the oh, uh, wow. resident doctor on there to probably talk you know, about what uh, hogwash it is. Steve is right, though. Uh, br yes. Br <clears throat> brassage pulled from market after GMA report. Really? Uh, from some time... All right. Maybe it was too good to be true. A bra offering sexy style, great lift, and a built-in lymph node massage is no longer on the market following a Good Morning America report questioning the bra maker's claims of improved breast health. Makers of the brassage claimed regular bras uh, trap toxins in breast tissue. <laughs> the GMA it. report said the brassage uh, massage supposedly promoted breast health. There is no medical science backing up the brassage claims, the show said. One breast cancer survivor called it ex explo uh, exploitative, excuse me, and a doctor said the idea that the brassage somehow contributes to healthy breasts was very far-fetched. Yes. Christina, Br the brassage <laughs> inventor, walked out of the ABC interview when the reporter started questioning the idea that a massaging bra could help prevent disease. She said she didn't imply for a moment this is a cure-all to breast disease. Mm. And that was it. And then Got they pan to, it, they pan to another bra, and it's a pair of tits smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's fun. Yeah, it's just fun, it's fun, fun to, to say. Picture. <laughs> fun to picture. A fun image. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're going to take a break, get into some other things. We still have who? Uh, Harold uh, Perno. If I'm saying his last name. Perno or whatever? Right. Yeah. From Lost and Oz, and he's, he's got a new project. Yes. yes. We could do the Lost montage. The lost Michael Dawson Walt montage. Does this make sense? Aunt? I hope it does. I don't know. I didn't hear it, but Steve put it together. All right, let's take a listen to this. Look how I pass the buck. Yeah. <laughs> Just well, like the staff. We're going to have this guy in today. I will. Walt! 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 Say his name again, ever. I'm his father. My boy. My boy. My boy. Letting you near my boy. They took my son. Stay away from my son. I'm gonna get back my son. They took my son. Where's my boy? They took my son. Where the hell is my son? Son. You're not taking my son. Oh, my son. You see my son? They're not taking my son away. I'm getting my son back. Get you with my son again. I'll kill you. Walt. 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 Walt, 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 I get it. I think we're going to have that guy on our show today. That's pretty goddamn good. I couldn't hear. What's the kid's name? Oh, my God. You know what? We should just play it again. Walt, 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 Now, would he enjoy that if he heard it, or would he fucking hate it? Let's play it for him when he gets it and see how he likes it. And find out. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, Matrix Reloaded he was in as well. Yeah. yeah. So, three big projects for him. Neo, 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 Neo. Where's Neo? I'm looking for Neo. The one, the one, the one, the one, the one. Opie and Anthony, busy show, big crowd. Lots more stuff to give away from the office. Yeah, a lot of stuff today, right? Oh, it's awesome. I was actually looking at it during the break. I was really tempted, you know? A little five finger discount over there. Oh, yeah, hey, watch it. Oh, Kenny Stabby, he's over there gardening. Duck, 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 I'll keep duck, them duck, away. Duck, 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 duck. It's a big crowd. Yeah, this is This what? is memorabilia. Last. What do we got? Three more days? After today, After yeah. After today? The crowds are growing. You notice that? Yeah, yeah. They want to get this that last glimpse. Yeah. It's like the uh, lead up to the final Seinfeld. It's that much <laughs> excitement. <laughs> yeah, just like it. Yeah. Then we got that Friday's going to be. Well, it is just like it because fucking because it's going to end with us in a in a, a jail cell in a jail cell over there broadcasting so. in, in Western <laughs> Massachusetts. I think you're accurate. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah are they still there? Are they? What? Yes. Oh. Yeah, they didn't. It's I haven't seen a, a show after that, so they must still be there. Are they going to like be released in 20 years as old guys? Is that what they're going for eventually? 
They when had they to do have the reunion show when they ended the Seinfeld uh, series like that. They had to have something in mind, like all right, but and eventually what we'll do is They're I don't know how or self destruct by yelling the n word out on stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that fucking put the kibosh at any big reunions. I don't yeah. think Kramer will be back <laughs> anytime yeah. soon. We'll just recast Kramer. Yeah, that's all they'll do. <laughs> that's all they'll do in Hollywood. You know <laughs> something like is he ever? Do you think he's ever going to be able to crawl out of that hole? That's what, what's the tough next one. move? The, I mean, the Greek never did until the day he died. But the thing is, he doesn't have to. He's got enough money. It's yeah, just, but you know something. You know your life. Money's checks. money. Money's money. But he, you know, you know, he he's a performer. His... He wants to be out there. And Jimmy the Greek was just being ignorant. Like Jimmy the Greek wasn't like fucking... Jimmy the Greek was kind of. He was kind of reciting history in a very tasteless way. But I mean. He wasn't being. He wasn't trying to be a cunt. Like Michael Richards, the problem with him was not that he said it, but that he said it angrily, and it was yeah. addressing a heckler angrily. Like you knew what he was doing. There was no way to disguise it. Like, <laughs> oh, I was trying to be funny. Yeah. Like he was just mad, and he got. It's like it was like a factor. Sound like audience. me in traffic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look what we got here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, back in the day, anytime you did you did anything, you could never make a comeback. Even if you got that that one girl uh, was in that video uh, getting fisted. Nowadays, you get your my own. My grandmother made a comeback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but nowadays you get your own TV show off or something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but he's done like the one thing. Like I don't. I'm trying to think. Like if I was guiding his career, like what is the next move other than yeah, continuing to tell him to sit tight. And let this blow over. Just let it blow over. It's okay. You have to take a couple of years off, I think, sometime. With, with a big one like that, you take a couple, years. A couple of years. it's been a couple of years. It's already, already happened. happened. Yeah. Like, I, it, it's one of those things where you stage a house fire where he runs in and saves someone of color. Yeah. Yes. That, that would work. But then they have video of him actually setting the fire of a black person's <laughs> house. That could backfire. But, they would just, or they just have him come out of the house and because he ran in. And to be heroic, he wound up getting soot all over his face, and they'll just take a picture of that and think he was in blackface <laughs> making fun of people. <laughs> it's like, oh, that Kramer, he's at it again. It just goes to show you how huge that is, because when I, you think of Michael Richards now, I just think of that. I just think of that self-destructing tirade he had. And this is a guy who was on the most <coughs> popular sitcom ever, so... You know, to overshadow that mm. with something you said, yikes. But has he tried to do anything like stand up wise? I mean, it's going to really hurt. What club's going to fucking. Hey, come on in. Breaking news Travis has the update on Michael what? Richards. What? Sin. Richards, Sin. Michael Richards. Michael Richards. Richards. Richards, right. Travis, you can say this. Ah, whatever. Uh, he's going to guest star on Curb Your Enthusiasm this season. Oh, okay. So he's back. Well, better than ever. He's, he's back. back. He's tougher than leather. Well, Larry did. Oh, that's yeah, how, that's, that's a how new they, line. That's uh, how they would shit. We're tougher than leather. Oh, don't We're even. We're back. Don't sing the Van Halen. Don't Through back. all kinds of weather. Oh, oh. <laughs> the groans coming from the audience. Well, they love it. They understand. It's no. fucking good. You don't yeah, like seeing see? an artist create some I, music? I see them all nodding their heads, Jimmy. They like it. That's Whoa. right. Give him, give him another line. I don't know what else rhymes with that. Well, you could just use some of the older lines. It was. He's been. He's it's a been, pleasure to see this live. Is what I'm saying. We've been around for a long, 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 long. long, long. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait. We've been around for a long, 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 long. Wait, is it around or away? I forget <laughs> the lyrics. It's your song. I don't remember. You want to uh, hear it? Yeah, uh, we have. How about, you, how about you hear it? And then uh, I think what's cool is they get to see it live. That's right. They came all this way to to see the Jimmy song live, or or a part of the it. The new Van Halen. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you, this makes you uncomfortable. So bad. I can't listen to it. Because <laughs> I could so see it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We've been away for oh, a yeah. long, 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 long time. We've been through changes. We played some games. The more things change, the more things stay the same. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> We're better than ever. We're back. We're back. Yeah. Together forever. We're back. We're back. Yeah. We're better than ever. We're back. We're back. Together forever. We're back. Uh -oh. Yeah. We're back. Yeah. I like the uh, 
tougher than leather edition. Yeah, what? yeah. That's that's the concert version. It's better than now you can just have a better than ever. We're back. Together forever. We're back. Bill's a little confused. Uh, when Van Halen said they were getting back together with uh, the David Lee Roth, uh, Jimmy decided to write their first comeback song. Because he knew how yeah. it would be. I, I never was a big Van Halen fan. I, think they, I mean, you know, they were decent, but I always said they were overrated. And I always just thought that they were, you know, lyrically they were fucking awful. And I could just picture them doing this cornball fucking like, comeback song. We're back! You know, David Lee Roth is. And I could picture the video. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And he would be playing... And Dave would be standing like again, like they'd be back to back, kind of looking at each other. Oh, over. it's such a <laughs> douche chill. <laughs> <We're back. laughs> oh. And they'd be smiling at each other, like we're a little bit older, but we ain't much wiser, you know. Like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you could picture the smiles and the fucking stupid Wolfgang, his son. Oh, you don't think that's good? Thinking no. Of, I ran into David Lee Roth's uh, uh, lawyer. Oh. <laughs> I thought you stepped it. You I thought it was a tumble. Oh, look, it's Eddie Van Halen and Valley Lurie. Yeah, uh, Burton, uh, on Lurie. TV as we speak. I, I ran to his lawyer at the Allman Brothers show. Really? And actually, he has no problem with us. And he really? wanted some inside info on the whole K Rock thing. He goes, I believe they brought in David to set you guys up. I, I, we truly believe they never wanted David Lee Roth to succeed. Oh, that's and bullshit. he was he was put in there. So they could put you guys in there eventually. See, even because they the company didn't want you guys following Howard because they knew that was a tough spot. So they put my guy David Lee Roth in there. Turns out this guy's a huge fan. David Lee Roth's a huge fan. They're all they're all good with us. I wonder if they heard you back. I want to hear what they, I would love to get David yeah. to say that. Yeah, no kidding. Oh yeah. And then I found out that they're going on tour after uh, Wolfgang uh, graduates in in May or June. Oh, yeah. Cool. And then they're gonna they're waiting for him to graduate so they could go on tour again. Do you and, think he uh, would? Yeah. Do you think? I bet at one point in the video he'll <laughs> tussle Wolfgang's hair, like because he goes, "The more things change, the more things stay." I guess he's just changed. <laughs> he'll rustle his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I can't even look at you. Why? <laughs> I mean, he just hit the high note. That sounded great. Yeah. It's so douchey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, say hi to Eric in Georgia. Eric. Hey, uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Lee Roth. I mean, you forgot when when you're singing We're Back, you got to hold the mic out to the crowd and let the crowd sing We're Back. Oh, and then, and yeah. they all yell together forever. And the lights would go on. But and then I go, We're yeah. Back. Do you want to try the audience at least saying We're Back? No, I, I, you don't I, have to do your part. You already lay down your part. I say we're back, and they go together forever. Is that what you need them to That's do? That's the concert version. All right, why don't we try this again? So, so do you guys know where someone's got to cue them? Sam, you're good at this. You, no. you cue the audience participation. You want them to say to, together forever. Why doesn't he sing it right on the strip? Or well, I don't want to. Because he won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I was one... trying to add more douchiness to it. Yeah. Sorry. I have, yeah. I have to find out where David Lee Roth <laughs> would throw the won't. Sammy the Sammy Hagar jab. He would at one point. Oh you know, yeah, and, and, yeah. You know, and some of us can still drive fifty five, or he'd do some kind uh. of. Uh, Oh, oh, he gets bad. He oh. does some kind of. A... I, I'm just gonna set up a little <laughs> yeah. hand wall. You can't look at me. Oh, yeah. All right, you want the studio, uh, the studio audience participation, Jimmy? Yeah, because I'm only gonna say, I, I go, we're back, and they have to go together forever, and then I go, we're back. Uh, Tougher and, than leather. Wait, it's live. No, no, well. no, I say better. Than, I say we're. I say we're back, <laughs> and you say straight. we're better than ever, and then I and I go we're back, and you go together forever, and then we all commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, why don't you sing over the track? Like do a little Britney Spears here. Okay, we got the track. You just sing along with it, and then the audience, you know when to jump in. Sam will kind of cue you. Hopefully, this will work. Okay. Take one. <laughs> we're back. Stop repeating the same verse, you oh, assholes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what do we do wrong, Jimmy? What, what do we... <laughs> <laughs> it's we're back, and you go together forever. Um, <laughs> and then you say, oh, no, I go better than ever. I go better than ever. I, I go, we're back, and, 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 and you go, better than ever. Well, he, he can't uh, even get his own I song forget. right. Better than ever, together forever. That's right. right. And then I go, and... Uh, Wait, 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 no, I'm trying to think if I can add this extra line. Uh, we're back! Okay, okay. All right. We're back! Together forever! We're back! Better than ever! 
And some people say we're even tougher than leather. <laughs> uh, uh, huh? No. Stop it. That's good, right? You That's want... how David Lee Roth would do things. You, you have want... like a little laugh. Right, let's try it with the music. Last, last try at this. <laughs> And a lot of people say that we're tougher than lead. <laughs> There's no reason for that. You don't like the little laugh they'll throw in there? I love the laugh. The laugh made it. <laughs> oh, boy. What a douche chill. I know. He would try to have like that, like that, like just a boy having fun, you know? It's like, oh, oh, no, but then yeah. you got to do the big, the, the open smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking his shirt off. We got it. <laughs> you do karate, I got it. You yeah, can kick exactly. high. Yeah. <laughs> you just slack that. stretch. <laughs> Let's bring Sam to the big table. He did a little what's the haps. A whole lot. According to he Steve, uh, and Wahaba. again, this is a rumor, Wahaba. Van Halen is rumored to be doing a stadium tour with Guns N' Roses this summer. Yeah, they're waiting for yeah. Wolfgang to fucking graduate. Yeah, I, I Guns N' Roses. Yeah, Guns N' Roses? Oh, the Guns N' Roses new info, though. Yeah. Now, why, can't, why can't they just have they, Michael no, well, Anthony no, come back? He's with Sammy Hagar. Not a, not a because big. what camp they, they, they split they, up there, the camp yeah. split up, and Sammy and uh, Michael Anthony very good friends. Because Michael Anthony did what he playstationed over Sammy's house, and Eddie got mad. Yes, yeah, and that was like it. That. Yeah, yeah it was some dumb thing. Exactly, it was crying. It's good excuse to get it. How would you feel if you've been a rock star for like thirty years? And good, got, and then you got replaced <laughs> by a twelve-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Who handles yeah. it with no problem whatsoever? Yeah, he's he has no problem. He's right in there with, the, with his father and the rest of them. Those running with the devil baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Da 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 da. It's bam, bam, bam. That was complicated. The father yeah. and the son would have a back to back in the video too. Oh the, no, they wouldn't. Eddie and Wolfgang, sure they would, because it's like the old or the new. Yeah, they would have to. Yeah. Um, you Come know. On. Uh, oh. Sam, what's the haps? We'll move on. What does he sing the line about? Some of us have tongues and some don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he probably rephrases it. Like, like, like. Uh, there's probably a thing where Eddie is throwing a box out, and inside are stamps and lollipops, <laughs> and, and uh, other things one would lick. <laughs> a pussy, <laughs> couple of nipples, <laughs> box of things you lick. Yeah, a toad with drugs on its back. All right, is yeah. it true he lost part of his tongue? Yeah, for real. I don't know. I hope so. I've yeah, been the, joking about it for a year. It's yeah, <laughs> a big casino. What's that? Big casino in his tongue. Yeah. 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 Sam, you did uh, what's right the haps? You brought the brought the bit back, huh? Nice. Yes, I did. And where'd you go? Well, making the band was holding auditions at 10th and 25th Street. Isn't that Ooh. P. Diddy's project? Yeah, P. Diddy making the band. Yeah. So I figured I'd go down there and see what all the hubbub was about. Oh, nice. And we meet uh, Jordan. Let's get right into this. Who's Jordan? Well, Jordan was one of the... See, P. Diddy now, with this version of making the band, is trying to get a backup band. So he's auditioning... <laughs> Guitarist, bassist, drummers, and backup singers. P. Diddy? Yeah. Or as I call him, P. Twitty, because I follow him on Twitter. <laughs> All right. How's his tweets? Kill him. Inspirational. <laughs> yeah, right. Someone shoots Sam. Uplifting. Yeah, Sam. Yeah. He's a big P. Diddy P. Fan. Twitty. You know who the number one uh, Twitterer is? Conway right Twitty. Soldier Boy. <laughs> <laughs> number one, anybody? The Jonas Brothers Happened or Soldier today. Boy? Happened today. John Mayer. It, uh, John Mayer was up there, my friend, but he is not the number one Twitter. Britney and bitches. What? What? Wait. It's. What, what is wait, that? What's guess. the criteria? Uh, the most followers, I guess. Um, oh, okay. Beating out Obama for the number one spot. Hold on. Oh, not number one. There's only one that's ahead of this person. CNN is number one right now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. This celebrity is number two. I think I know. Frank Gorshin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no? <laughs> That's the Riddler from the old Batman TV. <laughs> oh, did they not laugh? I thought the mics were all. off. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> that was very good. Very good. Um, Is it Brittany? Yeah, because you heard Sam. Sam kind of blew How many Sam does she blew. have? Sorry. Sam blew Sorry. the Sorry. How many followers? But she's uh, she's the number one celebrity. Got to have 20, 30 followers. Yeah. Oh, all right. Then I got more than her. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Jordan. How many does the bitch have? I don't know. A lot. I follow her. What? Why would you follow her? What is she going to say if she's even doing yeah, her own Yeah, what is tweets? she saying? A lot of these celebrities. Oh, uh, Christopher Walken. People were all over go following Christopher Walken going, holy shit, his tweets are hilarious. And, you know, he he's a weird guy to begin with. We all know that. It was Jay Moore. 
Uh, I don't know if it's Jay Moore. It'd be <laughs> ironic, good. wouldn't it? But it was a uh, it was a imposter. It was and right. They, sh- they shut it down. They shut down the fake Christopher wow. Walken Twitter guy who was uh, who really... was doing a great job of being. Dude, he was entertaining Walken. everybody. I guess I, uh, supposedly the tweets shame. were hilarious, but they had to shut that guy down because that's it wasn't a real shame. Guy. All right, here's uh, we meet Jordan. Uh, what's the haps with Sam Roberts at the Making the Band auditions? All right, we're out here with Jordan at the Making the Band auditions. Jordan, what's the haps? Uh, it's a long line, but I'm ready for it. Not nervous. I'm ready. On, it, on, on P. Diddy's Twitter, he said he was in Miami this weekend partying it up. You think it's pretentious that he didn't show up to his own auditions? He just stayed in Miami? Well, I actually did the Making the Band auditions before. They never show up until, like, the necessary auditions. Which auditions did you go to? Um, the ones the dick in sucking ones? for making a band four. <laughs> what was your critique? My critique, uh, I wasn't vocally ready, so I got some training, came back, ready for it this time. You want to give us a little sample? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can just give us a quick, like, give us give, just a hook or something. In the night, I hear them talking. <laughs> That's it? Oh, wow, you <laughs> nailed him. Yeah. You're good. You're persistent. Yeah. Come on, come on. Just come give on, it come to, on, come on, come to on. the hook. Well, I mean, if they want to be on TV singing, they can yeah, sing. Yeah, exactly. Like, then they should be able to just, you know, right then and there. And he did. And wow, did he stink. That was after training. Yeah. This yeah. is his second time yeah. up there. Mm-hmm. Was he uh, he didn't a have a chance feminine? to warm up. It's okay. He was. He was slight of frame and effeminate. Well-dressed. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well-groomed. Okay. Just like wondering. Slight of frame. <laughs> Sounds like someone you described in a mirror. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Svelte. <laughs> Reeking of semen. They're going okay. with the old school cable uh, commercial where the guy dresses up like the dumb lobster or whatever the fuck he is. Or oh, the, uh, right. Yeah. The octopus. Yeah, this fucking idiot watches his head. Come on. Ugh. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> this fucking idiot. <laughs> what are he dressed as? Why is there a lobster <laughs> selling cable television? I don't even know if it's a lot. What is It's a that? sea monster. Yeah, like a sea monster. You can't even get cable in the ocean. <laughs> right. It fucking gets all wet. Uh, the commercial's TV's just ruined. silly. It's stupid. It doesn't it, make sense. They should show an aborted fetus selling Tic Tacs. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Oh, sorry. Well, a bunch of pro-lifers out there? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's meet Matt. Oh, yeah, Matt. Uh, he's a Matt, he just lays around in front of the door all day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's a douche? Yeah, How Matt. How can he not be? <laughs> Matt's a douche, Sam Two T's says. in his name. All right. <laughs> all right, we're out here at the Making the Band auditions with Matt. Matt, what's the haps? Uh, the haps is I'm hanging out here, um, just hanging out with some folks I just met, a lot of good musicians, beautiful women in line, just enjoying myself and uh, getting my chops ready for this audition. So uh, what are you going to be doing today for P. Diddy? I'm just going to be playing the drums, killing the drums, in fact. Ooh. Oh. It's going to be killing the drums. Yeah, what does that mean? You know that uh, street slang. It means playing the drums very, very well. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but he's killing the drums. Wouldn't yeah. that mean that... Yeah, that wouldn't be. Uh, I'm just thing. white. I don't. Why does he it? sound yeah. feminine too? <laughs> no, that's his uh, white guy fake Ebonics accent you're hearing. Oh, Is he's it? white. Oh yeah. Get the that's fuck out of here. Oh yeah. Shit. Black guys well, don't like microphones mostly. Yeah. It was hard to get a lot of black guys. By to the talk. was the first guy white? <laughs> no, 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 that guy. Was oh, white. All right. By the way, we're leaving. That's because when the microphone's in their face, it's usually. Do you have any comment? <laughs> and their heads just down. <laughs> <laughs> Police joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is leading to an O and A fan that uh, Sam ran into at the making of the band auditions. A little more from yeah. so after all the bands that P Diddy's put together on TV have been complete failures. What makes you think that this one won't also just be a complete failure? Um, I usually don't ever pay attention to failure because, as Winston Churchill once said, the definition of success is going from failure to failure without a loss of enthusiasm. So that's just how I feel. But isn't the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again? <laughs> oh, God oh, damn, Sam. Sam. Face. Wow. Face faced him. is Winston Churchill. You just, yeah, That's absolutely funny. face that, Winston. That's just damn. how I feel. But isn't the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? Yes. <laughs> Where's the correlation there? Well, I don't know. You know, it's it's all a balance. Like you're 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 coming from the perspective that's saying, well, that that is insane. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't really matter because until I'm dead, I'm just going to keep on doing my thing. And if I continuously fail, well, then I do. But I don't necessarily think that that's insane. All right. Well, thanks a lot, and I hope at the very least you continue to fail. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's a dick. Sam is a dick. 
<laughs> that guy's a dick. He was oh, a dick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Winston Churchill, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. what is that? That's that's dragging out. I don't like how he quotes Winston Churchill. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, somebody. that's how I feel. Yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah, that's right. how Winston felt. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're trying to pass it off like that's how you exactly. feel. You're a white rapper. He had bombs falling on his house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys fucking there during the blitz. Yeah. yeah. Leave Winston alone. Absolutely. Come up with your own thought. Uh, who's Ahmad? Ahmed. He's Ahmed. He's Ahmed. another black okay. guy. Uh, I hate this guy. I have to take him every time I'm sick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, you're getting fair, something. Fair enough. I'll accept that. <laughs> fair enough. I deserve that. <laughs> All right. Well, I heard at the Making the Band auditions with Ahmed. Ahmed, what's the haps? The haps is a whole bunch of nothing. Standing around the line. We got here early. But it's what you got to do. It's what you got to do to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? What makes you think that this band, because he's made bands in the past on TV, and they've all completely failed. No, see, he made groups in the past. This is a band. We are musicians. You think he, he went the wrong route when he created the band? <laughs> the band. Mm, how do I say this politically correct? You don't have to be politically correct. All right, well, shit. Fuck it. And it worked out because they're a bunch of niggas. That's why. That and niggas not. don't know how to act. That's why I'm just going to put it out there. Now, that wasn't the right term, but, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And if you think that I'm wrong, then you don't know what I'm talking about. How are you about. doing? What the, what's the haps with Anthony? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> was he a man of, man of color? He was. So he's a lot of you. He was light skinned, right? but he was a oh, man of color. As light skinned as you are? No, 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 no. Interesting. He had darker skin than I. Mm. Okay, and more Ahmed. Was the band indeed uh, what he said? Yeah, well, they were uh, African American hip hop artists. Oh, hip hop artists. Called okay. the band. Yeah, they were rapper. It's when he was putting together the first time he did making the band. He was putting together a rap group, and he called them the <laughs> band, and they da ended band. up falling apart. And then yeah. he put together two R and B groups. One of all guys, one of all girls. Ooh. The girls have already fallen apart, and the guys are well on their way. <laughs> well on their Why way. are they falling apart so, and not making big music? They don't get along, I guess. I don't know. And how the fuck uh, th is this show still on TV if it's, it's failure? a failure? It's a good show. Nobody buys the albums, uh -huh. but people still watch the show. I watch the show. Because you'd think it would be like you know American Idol, where, yeah. oh my God, they make it, and then they sell a bunch of albums. Yeah. They just want to mm -hmm. see like uh, a bunch of black people fighting with each other on TV. Is that it? That's what it turns into. All right. Well, then watch First 48. Uh, <laughs> or Cops. Or Bad Girls. How many of those, those American... Case file. Or... How many of those American Idol people have actually sold records? Fucking lot. Kelly Clarkson. She um, has. Yeah. Who's the one I like, too? Bo Guy Bice. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> the box set. Did you get that around Christmas? Holy shit. You was know, that sold awesome. a lot. That fruit. That Chris Daughtry sold a ridiculous Daughtry amounts sold of albums. Daughtry sold a shitload. Carrie Underwood. Carrie, Carrie Underwood, Underwood actually yeah. liked that fucking uh, before yeah. he cheats oh, when well. she slashes his tires. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Hudson as well. It's great. I haven't heard of any. I didn't hear that They're song actually all bad. Are, they are they all twittering? Probably. I'm sure they are. I mean, yes. yes. Jennifer t Hudson is probably twittering. I keep knocking and no one's answering at my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'll do it with you. Oh, I'll how do it with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that laugh, I, I do that laugh to embarrass my girlfriend. We're in public. She hates it. We're like in a mall or something. It's real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Big laugh guy. Hey, Ozzy's on Regis today. He's on right now. Ah, unless they taped. Maybe it, it was recorded. They must yeah. have taped. I don't All think right. that they would. Have. Sharon wouldn't lie. He's a loose cannon. He might drop the f bomb. The burning smells back. Yeah. Am I oh, the yeah. first yeah. to smell it? No. No. Uh, me and Travis noticed that every day at 9.30, something is set on fire somewhere. <laughs> Something's burning. Come burn. on. Burn. 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 Burn, baby. What? Burn. How old are you? What's burning? We still don't know, That is right? no Good. idea. I have no something clue. Something is ready to go up in flames here. It's like a wood, cardboard. There's some wiring or something. Wiring, fiery. Behind these walls that is ready to go up in flames. That, I smoke, though. That's a bad one today. I got a funny joke. Yeah? Oh. Whenever I smell burning, I'll go, oh, well, someone's really thinking. <laughs> you guys smell the burn out there? Yeah. You do? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Got a very big yeah. crowd. Probably nothing small chemical fire. Thank God nothing Great White's about. not playing today. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in a I was already just trying to plan my escape if that all engulfed in flames. There's oh, just really yeah, no yeah. way to get out you're here. Gonna, just go through the window. You're not going to get past those people. We're on the fifth floor. Yeah, we yeah, plummet we would, to the street. We would break those windows out in a second. Kenny would tell everybody, please stand aside while the stars leave. 
No, he you wouldn't. <laughs> Kenny would fucking hightail it out of there like like, like Herman Munster. <laughs> <laughs> right through the door. Yeah. See his big dumb shape in the, I was in the say, door. Yeah. Yeah. Is Mars on this? Are we trying to figure out why it's Mars on like it? He's the cause of it. The studio's about to burn down. <laughs> really? Mm, it smells like band aids. Yeah. It smells like a uh, barbecue. All right, we got to hurry up because uh, Harold is just about here. All and right, we, good. We want to take a break before that. I uh, more anyway. from Ahmed. Would you be offended if I had said that? Nope. How come? Because I don't get offended by it. You think I would have got my ass kicked if I had said that by someone here? Ah, uh, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. You know, someone probably just raise a stir and start to act like a nigga themselves. You don't think my hair is enough to let me in the club? In the club? <laughs> of people who can say that without getting their ass kicked? Yeah, your hair is, your hair is, you know, I mean, I don't think that got anything to do with getting in the club. Your hair, you know? Really? I'm not Jewish. Hey, I'm not either. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuck. Ooh, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm mad. All right. It was all right. And finally, we move on to the ONA listener that was online. Adam? Yes, there was one guy who, as I was walking, mm. goes, Hey, are you on ONA? And so I decided. Oh, you an had interview. To do what's the haps with the guy? The whitest, doofiest, tallest guy, of course, was an ONA fan. All right, so we're out here at the Making the Band auditions with Adam. Adam, what's the half? Uh, I'm doing all right, waiting to get in. Been uh, online for a couple of hours now. A little hungry, but, you know, doing okay. So you're an Opie and Anthony fan? Oh, yeah, big fan. Big fan of Anthony, yeah. Why do you think oh, P. Diddy is going to pick you? Thanks. Because uh, I got chops, I have good groove, and, uh, groove. you know, I'm dedicated. Do you think you'll make uh, for good TV since he's making this into a TV show, too? I don't know if I'll make good TV because I'm, you know, I'm not a... Big, uh, very outspoken, a lot of drama kind of guy, but I think I'll do okay. Maybe if uh, Anthony can uh, teach me some impressions, I'll be uh, a little bit better off. <laughs> now, what's weird about the ONA fan? Impression of a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Exactly. He's a big fan of Anthony's, but he's at the <laughs> making, making the, band. the band audition. Yeah. Wow. Anthony wouldn't be caught the dead Gemini. with no. those people. Oh, I'd be caught dead. Well, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> One word out of my mouth. I was a little confused. The only other radio outlet there was the Hot 97 truck. Uh, ah. In front of, uh, oh, yeah, wow. Right? You were in good company. Sam. And finally, Adam does some Anthony impressions for everybody. Yeah. Oh. So what's your favorite Anthony impression? <laughs> uh, when he did his uh, hybrid William Popeye Holden? Dice Clay, that was a good one. I love his, his Reagan is good. Give me a little Reagan. Let's see your Reagan. Maybe I can give you some tips or something. Uh, oh, I remember... Paul R. Nelson, tear, tear down that wall. <laughs> All right, and how about Popeye Dice? Uh, I can't do Popeye, I'm bad. All right, try just Dice. <laughs> I'm trying to do this D Diddy impression. Oh! <laughs> nice, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh! You didn't want anything to do with that guy. I hate him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a fan of Adam Jimmy. He's probably how listening right now. <laughs> Good. Big fan. Hope yeah. right now he's listening while taping the window shut with the fucking garden hose from the exhaust pipe in. Because <laughs> he cracked like Peter Brady during his audition. <laughs> you, <don't... laughs> garden you, guys... <laughs> you don't think he's P. Diddy's new drummer? No. 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 I... no. 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 Who cares about that show? Exactly. I do. It's a bust. No. no. P. Diddy's a bust at this point. He's running out of stuff. P. Diddy's so done. It's like, what the fuck? Anyway. You ever seen How P is he clinging on to celebrity? P. What? Twitty TV? No. Why would we watch P. Twitty TV? In case you want to see what P. Diddy's doing or need a little words of inspiration. What does he do? Well, one P. Twitty TV episode, he had the debate of what's better, KFC or Popeyes? <laughs> You're kidding. No, I'm not. What's <laughs> funny about that? Why would he do that? Well, because yeah. then he opened it up to his Twitter followers. He puts a question out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the, How do you watch P. Twitty? You got to click the YouTube link on P. Twitty's Twitter account to P. Twitty TV. All righty. Oh, you can put links on your Twitter? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put a link. Link some nice. vids. Here, we actually got the audio of him asking the question about uh, the KFC or the Popeyes. Mm -hmm. What up, y'all? Um, it's not a blog, nothing serious to talk about. Um, so, all the bloggers for your haters, take a deep breath and relax. It's something for fun. Kentucky Fried Chicken or Popeyes? So the Who same. has the better fried chicken? Is it original recipe or Popeyes? And yes, shout out to everybody that has noticed that, you know, I've gained like 10 pounds. Yes, I have. Because I'm conducting experiments like this as I'm in the studio. 
original recipe or Popeyes? Miller. I'll get back to you in no. the next Peace. P20 TV, baby, let's go. Have you had both chickens there, <laughs> Sam? Yeah. Aren't they pretty much the same? No, Popeyes is better. Is it really? Yeah. I'd always been You're a so KFC Is there a clean guy. Popeyes that exists? No. No. Unfortunately, there is not <laughs> a clean Popeyes. And there's not one where you don't need Sticky like floor. weaponry when you go in because the uh, the neighborhoods that I usually see a Popeyes in aren't very good. That's actually a trick question because everybody knows the answer is Roy Rogers. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Third choice. You know what? Dang. You know what P. Twitty <laughs> said on his Twitter? P. Twitty TV? Or? This is, no, it is just P. Twitty. Right. It's just a little taste. He'll say something like this. If you're out there chasing your dream, you're not running fast enough. That's the type of thing you get. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that means you should catch your dream? Yeah. Like, keep running until you grab that dream. Let's run a little go. faster, right? Let's go. Well, uh, P20 uh, TV gets to the bottom of the fried chicken debate. Right? Oh, finally. And then we're going to go to break and talk to Harold on the way back from Lost, The Matrix. Uh, and he's got a new project, too. The Oz... Yes. Yeah, what's the name of the new show? The Unusuals. I'll say it. The Unusuals, right. On ABC, April 8th. Cop. Next Plays Wednesday. Cop. So Popeyes has a certain type of fried chicken, nicely golden brown, juicy type of flavor to it. KFC. See, they put something in KFC. That's why I call it original recipe. Like they sprinkle crack. On. This is disgusting. You can sit listen to this guy eat your chicken. He's funny it's though. It's a tight head-to-head -head battle right now. The KFC mashed potatoes though. Ugh. The gravy beat out <laughs> Popeye's mashed potatoes and gravy. But that's for sure. Bill just threw his headphones Still off. Still trying to figure out this chicken. Dude, one of my biggest. I'll show through your own test and y'all hit me up on. The fucking the things I hate when you watch you movies know. is when actors you eat because yeah. then they overact it's eating. Tight. And yeah. then they start eat, talking with their mouth oh, open. Popeyes. Yeah. I don't need to hear the the grease in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, he's got an experiment Ready. going. Let's go. It was very well rehearsed, though. That's what I liked about it. Very smooth. Got right to the point. Yeah. 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 He's a What's guy. the difference <laughs> uh, between uh, uh, all that KFC moisture. and this got a juicy a Popeyes fried <laughs> original Ugh. Recipe. What's he bothering? doing? Ugh. Some shithead's just sitting Stop there watching it. it. There's over 200,000 people, positive people in the P. Twitty universe. Let's go, baby. In the P. Twitty universe. That's right. And they're all running fast enough to catch their dreams, That's baby. right. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. Let's he does go. a whole let's go thing that we don't even want to get into. Well, right? I am very close to my launch of Live from the Compound. A. Twitty. A Twitty, they're going to yes. be calling me. A Holy. A Holy, that's what I want to be. A Twitch. A Twitch. A Twitch. Chateau Cumia officially going online? Yes, Chateau Cumia. I know Cumia. they get a little tastier in there through the pal talk, but. It's go oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's uh, going to be uh, different than that. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be dressed yeah. like uh, Che? Uh, what's his face? Or Guevara? However the fuck you say his name. Uh, I'm gonna, yes, I'm going to dress like a young revolutionary. And just, I figured it'd just be me yelling at people on the phones. Because <laughs> no one really ever agrees with me, and it always re resorts to me just yelling about the sexual habits of their mothers. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, so, you know, that'll last a week. <laughs> you got a company involved? You ready to roll? No, co well, no company involved, but uh, gonna... I do have a, a site that Perfect. I will broadcast from. Perfect. Get your dreams, and. It's not about dreams in his place. What? Let's see. Oh, it's about, it's about reality. Yeah, we got to we we get Harold in here. So we'll get more info on uh, Chateau Kumia going online in the yes. near future. But first, these messages. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Very, very busy day. We got a huge crowd outside. We got stuff we're going to give the crowd from our office in a little while. Uh, a little reset here. We got Bill Burr doing the show all week. Pumping up his uh, big show at the Trump Marina. Let this Saturday, Saturday, Saturday right? night, yep. How are the ticket night. sales after yesterday's appearance? Uh, they went great. There Bumped you go. them up there. The first show got a sold out. in this town. We're trying. First show uh, sold out. We got some tickets left for the second show yeah. Saturday, right? Yes, we do. And Anthony, who we got in studio? I'm not. I I, I shouldn't say it. I don't watch Lost. You're crazy. I'm a loser. You're fired. I'm a loser. <laughs> you're fired. I, I should be fired. I definitely should be fired. You're like 
I'm Who, one of the only ones. You're one of the only but guys. But I'd rather say it instead of sit here and make believe I watch the show. Yeah, you're I'm one of the only did, guys yeah. that uh, aren't watching Lost right. Thing. You, you and Sam. Harold Paranoia's here. Yeah. I did yeah. say your name correctly, right? You did. That's okay. good, man. Not, not a lot of people get to one of the that. One yeah. of the main characters uh, mm -hmm. through a few. You've been on some Couple massive years. shows. I mean, yeah. uh, everything yep. you touch seems to work. I mean, I'm getting uh, lucky. Lost. <laughs> Oz. I mean, yeah. Oz was like the first show I watched where uh, you really made an impact. That was oh. like. That was really well done, the way you were narrating the whole thing and uh, right. you know your little point of view on, on uh, <laughs> prison life. It's not really my point of view. It's Tom Fontana's, and he's, uh, he's and, got a great point of view, so it's really, really cool. So. Uh, a li you know something? I got no I watched every episode. I loved Oz. Right. Uh, wow, a lot of man uh, junk. Yeah, there's uh, a lot on, of man. That yeah. show. That was, that, when it started getting uh, into the opening credits, like, uh, <laughs> like at the beginning. <laughs> All right, there's a dude with the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the yeah, beginning, yeah, they yeah, used yeah. a little sparingly. It was like sh a shock. You'd be like, holy well, shit, here it is, a rape scene of the showers or whatever. <laughs> and then it just got like starring. But, and it, <laughs> they run through the Dying penis, penis. <laughs> and there's a guy with a dick on the screen. You're like, wow, man, that's, that's fucked up. But, yeah, uh, yeah, everybody's had their penis on. And, and then after, <laughs> yeah. after like a couple of seasons, people started doing the like, listen, my penis is going to be on, so wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to fluff that up. Just tell me when you're ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't fluff too much, though. Exactly, because you got to be just right. right. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. then you know, oh, that yeah. guy's fucking He's exactly. trying too hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to make it look just right. You just got to fill it up with a little blood. and then A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, kind of yeah. like a ball like, pro park Frank. You just want a little plump. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, uh, how many, how no many pages Franks are we shooting right now? <laughs> yeah. oh, you, you got to time it perfectly, too. You're right. <laughs> well, downtime, I got to admit, I, I, I would literally try to watch Oz, but it was just so brutally gra graphic. I yeah, yeah. I yeah, found yeah. that I that show it. It was, was more graphic than the actual HBO undercovers when they went to real jail. Because <laughs> <laughs> all they would do was talk about the shit that happened. Oz, right. they like showed the shit. I was just like, I can't. I can't yeah, see, because actors, you can show it. If you showed it in jail, you'd, be, you'd yeah, see some guy yeah. who was really getting raped. That's that's not fun to that, watch. Yeah, <laughs> that show was one of the uh, one of the first shows that I remember uh, where lead characters would just get killed. Yeah, like yeah. You, watch, you watch series uh, before that, and you knew nothing was going to happen to somebody. Right. It's like, they're one of the stars of the show. It's right. not going to happen. And then you watch Oz, and it's like, hey, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, you just yeah, get yeah. shanked with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the very first show that we did for HBO, because we were the first dramatic show on HBO, and in the very first episode, we had this guy, uh, John... Uh, I can't remember Johnny's last name, but he's, you know, the big star of the show. And at the end of the show, somebody lit him on fire. Like, <laughs> this God. The end of the first show, kaboom, a blaze. And that was it. It was like, oh, oh it's, it's going to be a good show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why, did Tony Masanti, I loved in the first season. Yeah, yeah. Was he, I know that they were, they, they, I think it was out of BC or somebody was, was slowly crushing glass. Glass, through. that was taken from oh, a real story. Yeah. yeah. Did he get killed off because he was dying in real life? Or, 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 or were they just planning on killing him off? Because he was so good. Did he just die in between seasons? No. No, oh, just in that same way that he he was just gonna okay. get killed. Yeah, like nobody was nobody was safe. You literally would flip through the skip yeah. and go, ah, I made it through another yeah. week. Like, oh uh, yeah, but no, he was that was taken Man. from some really real story. And I bet and, there were no prima donnas on that set. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 there were, and then they <laughs> and then you see what happened. <laughs> Somebody tried to tell me. I mean, obviously, I'm nowhere near in the loop, but someone was trying to tell me that if you pissed off the writers on that show, the next week you you had a rape scene. <laughs> <laughs> is there any, any truth to that, or is that just some bullshit? I, I, I don't know. I think that's some bullshit. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 the yeah, guy yeah. who complains at craft services gets yeah. fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't, think, I didn't think it was that hardcore. No, but, no, um, no, no, no. You like to think that's true, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> I got a nice surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> and no, uh, what's no. his name who played uh, uh, Schillinger on the yeah. show? Yeah, yeah, J.K. Uh, Simmons. Yeah, every time I see him, I'm just like, hey, Schillinger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Schillinger's on it. Some he's, people just kind of get, you know, it's stuck and he's in your been brain. In, he's been in a lot of stuff uh, yeah, since like he's, then. He's freaking the dude in uh, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man. He's, he's, uh, you know, he's H. a nice. H. Yeah, yeah. But H. you're H. just Jameson, thinking, you know, man. the branding and the shit on the face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. I, I always bring this up when we talk about Oz because there's so much, there was so much penis and, and gayness in that. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I ever saw in Oz was uh, J.K. Simmons. Uh, going, uh, he was. They were in the, the pod with uh, Lee Turgeson's character, mm. and J.K. has his feet, his foot up on up on Beecher's like chest, and he's oh. kind of squeezing it with his toes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that, that far outweighed any, any gay sex. Oh, baby. I'm never going to jail. It was just ever. such a loving. It was such a yes. loving. Hey, baby. Yeah, hey. I'm never going to jail. <laughs> Brandon, that kind of intimacy is not interesting. It's easier, easier to see the hardcore stuff than that yeah. lovey yeah. lovey dovey stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you yeah. got to see somebody beat up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that that is acting, man. If you're a straight dude and you can come to, you get so into it that you can actually. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna make the choice to squeeze his man tip <laughs> with, with my, my toes. Feet. That's so fucking. Well, we, I'm yeah. gonna massage. You gotta, you How could you hold it together in the take? It's like, dude, you, you don't, you're not gonna make it that real. Can we, can we shoot that again? You gotta think someone on set's like, oh, he does that a little too good. That's not about. That's and not for accurate. two guys yeah. that are into it, it would probably be like a tender moment. <laughs> you know, the guy would be probably grab the foot uh, and everything. But as an uh, actor, you'd probably be like, your toenails are disgusting. Dude. <laughs> Clip that shit. If you're gonna put it up on my chest for this scene. That's what acting is, man. You gotta put yourself in crazy situations. No shit, huh? <laughs> so there it is. There is it, it, is. It, it almost seems like actors now kind of want to, like, because Sean Penn did the big kissing scene in Milk. It's yeah. almost like... Yeah. Uh, Cause that's like a very tough thing to do. It's like guys, it's like a badge of honor almost that you could pull that off believably in in, in a, a role. Cause yeah, uh, man. it's like, hey, look, look at what a good actor I am. Watch me suck what, this dick. What the world... <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know one guy yeah. who's like that. <laughs> with, but I hate you. With prison rape, I think the scary thing about prison life is like we could all take a dick if we had to. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the gentle sharing of the desserts, <laughs> which is fucking creepy. That's that's the part that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a deal uh, with a spoon in one of the episodes that make me not. I don't fucking even want to use spoons oh, sometimes. Oh, it's a yeah, spoon yeah. episode. Yeah. He, he, he fucking we'll rapes a guy with a spoon. Yeah. It's fucking disgusting. So you, that's, that's you can't just one. use forks for the rest of your life. That, that was time. when you had enough. That, yeah. was, that was the one that thing on Oz. And it's like, you know what? I can't. <laughs> That's yeah. enough. That's I noticed it. Dan, when when I was uh, I was loading a bunch of DVDs in uh, at my house, and Danny right. came up with the entire the entire series Oz series. I did do it. Right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so fantastic. of course I'm like, you know, wow, you really like that shit. Didn't you? <laughs> it was one of my it it. Uh, it, it caught me from the first episode. Yeah, you know, it, it was a good. great series, yeah. and uh, it was <laughs> from the first rape. From, yeah, <laughs> from the rape and, uh, yeah. it was great. It was probably it's probably my favorite HBO series. Top. Yeah. I mean, The Sopranos yeah. was great too, but Oz came first. And yeah, yeah. It always... It's one of those shows, and HBO's great with the the way they do that, where you were able to just watch a show and it would end, and you'd be like, "Fuck, I gotta right. wait a week." You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. God you have to wait a week. You know, and that's definitely and, one that did it. Yeah, 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 Lost was is the same thing for me. I'm I'm insane with that show. Yeah, uh, that's how I did. And, and then we're like, you know. Are you on? Are you not on anymore? Yeah. What, you know, because you, you were gone. I was gone, you, then I was back, and I was gone. You and, and Walt and... took off in the boat. Yeah. Uh, a, a a despised character, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really hated me. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were like, oh, my yeah. God, this guy is killing people we like. Yeah. I, 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 to this day, I don't understand that one. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like, I get it. Like, we like Jack, and we think he's cute. And, <laughs> like, But, like, somebody had my kid. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Jack. <laughs> That's my kid. Fuck Jack. You're cute. No, but like, you know, but people uh, hate, yeah. hate Michael. They yeah, hate yeah. it. When you, when you went off in the boat and they're just watching you going away, it's like, hey, I'm leaving. Yeah, Go yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> I got what I need. I got my kid. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye. Yeah, Did you yeah. want to leave the series? Because I was wondering, like, why would he not be there? Like, you were one of the main characters. Was that your decision to go, look, I'm, I'm done. I want to, I want to leave? No, no, no. Not necessarily my decision. It was, uh, it was, they have stories and you just never know what's going on on and they they have it worked out in their head in a certain way and like like i was telling these guys in there the first season when you see uh michael in the water and he's screaming for walt like hey like we didn't know what was going to happen mm. we got we got the script and we had all these blacked out pages and and it said like they're on the boat and they see somebody and they're waving and then the next thing you see michael screaming walt and then the day of they handed us these pages oh, so you don't know that he's taken yeah, at that, that point. he's taken they yeah. beat you up and throw you in the water and i was like they throw you in the water dude i don't swim i don't <laughs> swim and we're in the ocean and they were like really and you saw the producer scrambling he doesn't swim he doesn't swim i don't know the guy doesn't swim he's cla he's old he doesn't swim it's ridiculous and they literally had, you, had somebody are you in looking there with forward me. To, to actually being on a series where you don't have to worry about main characters getting killed just so you can chill out? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. You know what? It's getting great ratings. Maybe I'll get five seasons out e of this. E every show kind of has that. Every show does that. Now they do that kind of like, we should kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So you, you don't know if you want to be somebody they like or somebody they hate. You That's coming from know. the corporate heads. Yeah, every, exactly. Everyone, uh, everyone exactly. in here is a fan of uh, The Wire. That oh, was right, a really right, good right, show. Right. And that was another one where it's just like, wait. Why? You killed yeah. that motherfucker? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You killed him and peed on him? What the what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they yeah, kill in, in, in The Wire, Anthony hasn't gotten this far yet, but let's just say they kill a guy from the first season, dies in season two, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're playing fucking games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, but, and that's what people love this. Then they love the, yeah. the it make, gets, gets your ratings. And it's, so. it's, it fucking, when, you know, and when the, when we, you know, our favorite uh, gay character is killed, because everybody knows that, that Omar oh, yeah, was yeah, killed. Oh, yeah, right, right. It was, it was so aggravating. I've never been hurt by a TV character getting killed. <laughs> oh, but, yeah? <laughs> but they didn't give you what you wanted. They, they treated it the way fucking people in the street would treat it. Like, hey, right. drug dealers get shot. And the fucking and coroner it. fucks and, up the name, and, and nobody gives. It wasn't shit. a very yeah. special episode. Yeah. Of <laughs> the Wire. Yeah. Someone isn't going to make it through. <laughs> Could you imagine if you're a drug dealer and that happens every morning? And you hear it. It's a very special day in drug dealing. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Shit, my number's up. <laughs> Someone's not <laughs> going home tonight. <laughs> oh shit! Oh damn it! <laughs> you fucked up in your life. Uh, <laughs> I theorize. I could be wrong about this. Though, I'm like, why would they have written Michael off? And my thing was one of the because when you're working with a kid, kid. Yep. grow up yep. was one of the problems oh my that God, Walt, the Walt kept big. got too big too <laughs> fast and yeah. he couldn't play who he was. Well, you know, yeah, and Michael and Walt were tied together. There was no way kind of to have Michael without Walt. And they, and they hired a 12-year-old kid who was short to play an eight-year-old, mm -hmm. you know. After the first two seasons, we're off. We're not off the. We're not on the island for a year, but he's two years older. <laughs> yeah, right? so he's fourteen. <laughs> you know, we kept <laughs> trying to figure it out. Like, wait a minute, he'll be eight here, but sixteen in real life in four years. They couldn't just write work. in that the island aged them. Well, they tried to. They, they, <laughs> they definitely tried. tried. They yeah, tried like, oh, we see a much bigger Walt, and it's like, yeah, it didn't didn't necessarily work. Somebody out. didn't make Hurley out. skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Could, <laughs> couldn't they have just replaced him as much as you hate to have to replace somebody it's when you when, again when you're working with a, a kid it was uh, this, that was just the option to write yeah. <laughs> yeah it turns into be yeah. exactly or, you know so then it looks and they've, and they've tried as much to keep as much integrity I, I think as they yeah. can and so were you surprised when uh, you were written back in um you you know they I, I wasn't because there's a, actually Walt has such a big story. I thought for sure they had to bring me back for something because, mm -hmm. he, you know, he had polar bears and birds <laughs> happening. So yeah. I just assumed that I'd probably wind up. Uh, it was just, you know, it was a weird timing thing. But I thought for sure when I came back in that they were going to torture me. Like, I, yeah. I, I didn't think I was going to last long because I knew people kind of hated <laughs> him. So I thought for sure he was going to, like, get his ass whipped. And he kind of did. Yeah. <laughs> He kept getting beat up. I thought he was going to get stapled. Yeah, like, yeah. Ducking, like, you not, know. not a sympathetic character. <laughs> no, people hate that dude. So. One thing good, good, though, I mean, you you are working steady, man. I, yeah, I man, see I keep you, it uh, moving, man. I see you all over. I loved uh, uh, the 28 moving. Weeks. Uh, oh, right. 28 Weeks later. We that, did that, that right was after. really cool, yeah. Oh, you That's show right. up as the helicopter pilot. I was like, God damn. Yeah, I, I like, got to keep it moving, man. I got kids to feed. The fucking, <laughs> the fucking Matrix, dude. You're in the fucking Matrix. How cool. It's like. That's one of those things that's like, that's yeah. got to be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goddamn Matrix. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Because I saw the first one and I was a real big fan. And so then when I got there, I had to really work hard not to Yeah. Be <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I had to just do my job. And, uh, it's Keanu Reeves. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, and, uh, and now, and now uh, this is pretty cool a new here. series. And now, yeah, we got The Unusuals, which yeah. is going to um, actually is going to come on after Lost yep. on April 8th. Uh, and The Unusuals is going to be good. It's a, it's, a, it's a good show. We got. I think you guys will like it. You haven't gotten a chance to see it yet. Mm -hmm. but uh, I've seen all the uh, the uh, trailers for it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And so, yeah, it looks you know. cool. What's and the show about? We it's should a, tell it's about, the people. Yeah, it's about uh, these cops in the second precinct in uh, in New York City, and uh, you know, sort of the wacky cases that they they solve. And it's not really about the crazy cases they solve, but more about how sort of unusual they are. Yeah, it's different and, personalities. And, uh, yeah, on yeah. that on that show, and uh, yeah, it kind of it's kind of weird. I play a guy who's a who's forty, who's forty two. And all the men in my family die at 42, so I'm really nervous this year. So, like, I've always got my bullet, bulletproof vest on. I wear antibacterial and flame retardant clothes. It's, it's oh really yeah, you creepy. wear your vest like everywhere, everywhere, to bed, everywhere. I got bumpers all over, so I don't hurt myself. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but my partner has a brain tumor, and nobody knows. And he's trying to find a really cool way to die in a line of fire. Like, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> 
there's the two of us, and that's just where we oh, start Oh, so he's off taking all just, these chances, which is yeah, freaking yeah, you freaking out. Yeah, yeah, freaking me out, and, and then I'm, take, I'm being really safe, and that's freaking him out, and so then that's where we're unusual. They're comparing it to MASH. <laughs> they they do, yeah. to MASH, because it's, like it's, it's a comedy and a drama, because MASH is like... Was, 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 exactly. With MASH, I don't think the humor holds up as well. It's very, very like, you know, da 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 but, it, but, but the, <laughs> the, the serious moments do. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I look at MASH almost as a drama now. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, but it's set in really, you know, if you're a cop, you're not necessarily in the... Uh, a fun position but right. you know like when we hung out with the cops it's really interesting how much humor they actually have like you know they'll tell a story I'm like I walked in and I mean she was stabbed seven times I mean this bitch I, and you're like is that funny? I don't yeah know. it really is, is an that funny? odd sense of humor that they have it's an war. odd way of looking at things yeah it's and a stuff, wartime and, like, yeah. yeah and so that and that's how, how kind of where this show lives I mean I think you'll 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 buy the characters as really real and that their problems are really real and sometimes you'll think it's funny and sometimes you won't actually think it's funny but yeah. I, I think you'll always think it's interesting. So. It's like a gallows humor kind of a thing. Exactly that they right. Got. Gallows yeah. humor is definitely. Exactly they say right. when they were pulling bodies out of Gacy's basement, the cops were, because I read a bit, they, they were joking. And They're making, like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. like, like uh, so there was something about they pulled a head out and they said something about the prom. It's like, ah, oh, he's got no body to go with. You know, it's like, holy <laughs> 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 shit. Like that type of, you're holding oh, a head. Terrible. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's exactly right. That's, that's how you cope, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a coping mechanism. And you know what a cool thing about having like a, a really a big actor in it is like when you look over the resume you go back you go back you go back you find some really fucking cool things like I'm looking back over your resume and, and you were in a King of New York as Thug Leader <laughs> <laughs> Thug, Which thug is, Leader is a great like Christopher Walken uh, Fishburne <laughs> Wesley Snipes yeah, David yeah, yeah. Caruso and, yeah, and, yeah. and then your Thug Leader what did thug you do Thug Leader that? number one <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, would it bother you if like we recognize you and that's all we wanted to talk <laughs> about <laughs> exactly. when you were Thug Leader dude <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah, Wesley Snipes talk, talk about, about taxes that. on the set? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. really funny. That was my first job, man. What, yeah, scene, yeah. what scene was that? Because I, I saw that not too long ago. Did you get killed in it, or were you just did uh, you walk by? Or did I you speak? eventually get killed. I try to rob him on a subway, and then he invites me to be part of his gang. I remember that scene. I remember that scene. It's walking in a chick, and there's like That's three right. guys that come in. That's and, right. uh, and I'm number one. Wait, so wow. you're first... And he hands you his money. I, exactly. I, I asked him for his watch and his wallet. My, blo my brother still laughs at me. He's like, watch and wallet. The blood. Fucking <laughs> line is It's like my first line. Fuck off. Yes. <laughs> Give me your possessions. <laughs> well, so your first acting job was with Christopher Walken? Well, my first uh, movie acting job. Oh, I mean, okay. I've been, you know, I studied acting. I've been a New York actor and doing theater and all stuff. My first movie was Christopher Walken. Great yeah. place to start. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's right. not bad. I've been, the like usual said, thing, I've been though, lucky, man. Audition yeah. and go yeah. in or do you, you yeah. have one of those wacky stories where it's like, hey, I knew this guy. And no, no. No, no, I, I actually went in an audition, and I guess it is sort of a wacky story. I had this manager back in the day, and um, she had a couple of actors, and one of them was Giancarlo Esposito. I don't know if you know. He's in the movie name. as well, and he's an actor that's been around forever. And they loved him. They thought I was okay. They yeah. loved him, and so, like, in order to get him, they kind of threw me a bone. Oh, okay. Threw me a bone. It worked so, out. He's good. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, were in so. fame, too, as a dancer uh, in the show <laughs> in 82. I feel like you a job interview. I know. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, yeah, then yes, you were. Uh, but that, I love the movie. I mean, uh, oh, the, I never yeah. really watched the series, but the movie I loved, it changed the way I did comedy, because I watched fucking Ralph Garcy do great in front of a, an audience with his friends, and then he goes on in front of a bunch of strangers, and he's coked up, and he bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and I met that actor years ago in LA, right, and I right. told him, "Dude, you changed the way I did stand up before I ever did stand up." I, I don't do it. coke anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I could have annoyed him more. <laughs> if I would have walked up and said, "My dick might be as large as yours," <laughs> <laughs> better effect. He fucking hated me. <laughs> did he really? Oh, he wanted to spit in my face because he probably hadn't worked in a while, and I was just reminding him. I should have just—he he was in a Beretta episode too. I should have raised that. I wasn't doing that in '76. Oh, shit. I didn't mean. I was just trying to, you know. Whatever. You're trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, wanted yeah. nothing to do with me. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we? We? Do, we did, do you want to play that for Yeah, me? he didn't hear the Walt. Did you hear the uh, Walt? Clip, uh, the what? The Walt this, montage. This a little montage, a montage yeah. that was thrown together. Yeah, we tried uh, to like you know before. Do a little uh, we, something when you guys come in. It's, it's, really? a, it's an homage. Yes. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> thank you. I think. I will. Walt. 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 Walt? 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 Right, because the first time wasn't Walt enough. Walt? 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 Walt?
<laughs> come take me! Come take me! I'm coming for Walt! Walt! I'm not leaving him out here! Walt! 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 Don't you ever say his name again! Ever! I'm just <laughs> My boy. Letting you near my boy. He took my son. Stay away from my son. I'ma get back my son. They took my son. Where's my boy? They took my son. Where the hell is my son? Son. You're not taking my son. Oh, my son. You see my son? They're not taking my son. <laughs> I'm getting my son back. Get you with my son again. I'll kill you. Walt! 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 <laughs> seriously? Yeah. Uh, seriously? All right, guys. All right, guys. I get it. That's it. Now, for, ask me a question. See what happens. I'm just going to say Walt. Walt, 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 Walt. But it's, it's Walt, not. You can, you can take Walt, Walt, any Walt. any word. Like, if you took, uh, uh, what's, I, I should know who plays Kate. That's the one name I avoid. I can't. Is that uh, Evangeline, Evangeline Lilly? Okay. Lilly yeah. uh, the, if you had her saying Jack and did a montage. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's the same, same thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who do I fucking love her? People. Holy shit, is she fantastic. You're right, over there, bro. Oh, she's, really <laughs> <girl. laughs> she's really great. That, it's, it's a great show, man. It, yeah, it's, it's a good it, show, it's, man. It's like... I, I, I don't know why I cried a lot when I watched the first season. I was probably going through a relationship breakup. Oh. I didn't watch it when it was happening. I watched it years later, but the box set. Oh, right. And I right. fucking plowed through like the first three seasons. And I just got addicted immediately. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I saw it. Crying. I, like a fucking, like a, you have a little pint of ice cream. What, what like made a, you cry? I don't know. I'm a what? fucking hey. grandmother. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 40. It's a midlife thing. I don't know. But you I just like, started crying. Like, <laughs> uh, he wrote the letter himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> the, the, the movie it, fame changed the way yeah, it did stand up. That's a whole other side of you, man. I know. I throw know. your television away. Really <laughs> <laughs> got this good. Put my tampon in and throw my television out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of everybody. Well, and then when I was watching Cagney and Lacey, <laughs> <laughs> the way I brushed my teeth. <laughs> That's a good mullet. Why didn't she ever marry? Oh, oh, I get it. When you watch that first episode, it's... Uh, <laughs> And you don't know about the show, right? Right. You just think it's going to be all oh, right. It's Gilligan's Island, exactly. The that plane was, crash, and you know, that was here it is. Comments. Now we're going to have like castaways and stuff. Right. And then, yeah. right when it started getting weird, it uh, it just hooked you. It was right. one of those shows, like, okay, this is something like I haven't seen before. When did it start getting weird for you? Like first, the first episode when you realized something wasn't quite. The uh the pilot episode. Oh yeah. right, when you hear the noise. Yeah, there's like, like a noise in the in the uh, woods there, and you're like, right. what the? F right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. how are they alive? And what? Where's the tail section? Right, right, right. Like right. things start coming together, and then and now I because it's on Sci Fi Channel now, uh, and I've seen up until you know I've seen up until the last episode. I'm, oh, I'm completely okay. up to date. But Sci Fi is playing like the older ones. All right. And I wake up and had Sci Fi on because I was watching like The Outer Limits or some shit and. Right. And Lost is on. I'm like, I remember this kind of, but I. And then you feel like I remember when we went through this. <laughs> I was <laughs> there with it, and you get so involved. It's That's a wild. huge ensemble cast. Like it's, it's a, an, cast, it's a yeah. huge undertaking to have that many people involved in a show that aren't just you know the background sweat hogs right. in, uh, you know, in the exactly. classroom. Exactly. You know, yeah, they're yeah. actual players, and, and each of them have the, the detailed backstory, mm -hmm. so you, you, you know these people, you right. know? You know the characters. I mean, we started off with 14 people, and then it just grew from there. Like, then when every time you added somebody, you had yeah. their background story, and like, yeah. So I keep waiting for a, a boat to land with the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> 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 oh, the Harlem exactly Globetrotters! Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could always come back on the show. That's the beauty of the way they're doing it. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? Matter. Charlie could. will pop up, or this one. but Walt was Walt was so important to the island Walt, in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's like I guess because like, maybe they didn't foresee him getting so big. But you 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 talked about because I noticed I'm like there's not a lot of black characters on this show. I mean, right. uh, and I'm not one to scream and cry and knee jerk react. Uh, but it's like you know of all the people on a plane. Right. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, right. One black guy in the sun and, and, and you know, it's like, can't even have a can't even have a couple. <laughs> you can't even have a black couple. It's got to be the white guy going in there. At least they didn't make you fuck Rose. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, Jesus, but no, you 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 raised that. Uh, you had a quote. You said, "If I'm really being candid, right. uh, there are all these questions about how they respond to black people on the show." Right. Sai gets to meet uh, Nadia again, Desmond, and. 
Penny hook up, but a little black boy and his father hooking up, that wasn't interesting. Instead, Walt just winds up being another fatherless child, plays into a really big, weird stereotype, and being a black person myself, that wasn't so interesting. Right. Um, yeah. And then you saw Mr. Echo come on in season two, who I thought was great. Right. And then he wound up... Was that his choice to leave the series? Or? Uh, I think it was. Uh, oh, okay. that, that wasn't so much working out. He actually had a bunch of uh, personal issues to deal with and stuff like mm. that. So that uh, wasn't he was a great character. But. Yeah, yeah he really was, his yeah. backstory was great. And you know, it's yeah. like they get you so involved in people, and then yeah. they just leave. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, that was unfortunate. His was unfortunate. Though, some of so. the some of the newer ones they brought on are are good. I mean, I still like the show, but it's like. Eh, it's harder for me to get involved. You want in, those original people that you, you started yeah, the, the journey with, the, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Kenny you know, Loggins, you know the, the physicist. <laughs> <laughs> that, fucking, that fucking raggedy and headed bitch. Who is she? I don't know her. It's hard for me to invest in them the way I did in the first <laughs> old man. <laughs> Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Penny? I miss you, Penny. You can't be involved in any of this. I'm You're just sitting back. I, I know. I think I'm going to have to start no, watching I'm, this lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to have to bring you the box set. Everyone says it, and for Whatever reason, I just haven't popped in that first disc yet. I, yeah, got, I got it. I got it. it home and everything. We just yeah, yeah. we just tell them as a joke. We're like, just just watch oh, an yeah. episode. Just pop it on. <laughs> watch an episode. <laughs> you'll, you'll catch up. No, <laughs> but he knows. You, I'm you'll gonna be watch. Days. I'm gonna probably watch uh, tomorrow, and then I'm gonna uh, figure out the whole show for everybody. I'm nice. Just watching one episode. Oh, what? you're gonna watch. The new episode yeah, the tomorrow. New episode, and oh, then I'm gonna okay. and you're gonna have to help. Yeah, that's oh, my yeah. 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 Remember the time you're gonna figure Good it luck. right on. I'm gonna listen <laughs> yeah. to you on Thursday to see that you have to imagine. Out. But imagine I figured it out because it was that easy. <laughs> you guys just got confused by yeah. watching all the episodes. It was right there the whole yeah. time. Right there. Like, oh, they're in upstate New York. Yeah. <laughs> it, that show is so involved. I took a shit. I had to rewatch season three. <laughs> God damn, I got to watch there, this dude, show. There now. is such a brilliance in the writing. We've had, all, really the, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. had all the Lost yep. guys on, but I think you're the reason now that I got to go watch. Oh, really? I don't know why. No, I don't know just either. Just because the fun. This is the fun you brought to the uh, discussion here. Oh, right on, oh, man. Good, thing. good. Dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm so go behind in TV. I got to catch. I still haven't watched an episode of The Wire yet. Dude, The Wire. I know, yeah, man. That's, That's the show greatest I show I ever. I never. I don't. The yeah, Wire is so up. fucking. It never it's so good. Won an Emmy. Never nominated for Not, an Emmy. That none shit. Of it. Fucking yeah. Academy. That's, yeah, yeah. That's but, suspicious right there. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, hey, listen. We, we, we kind of talked like about it on our show. That's suspicious. That show is amazing, and they don't win nothing. We did that same. We went the same thing with Oz. We kept saying like, "This is a real yeah. good. Like nothing ever cutting happened. edge. Same with The Wire. Yeah. Nothing. What do you think that's about for real? Regular TV maybe realizing how irrelevant they are against these shows and not wanting to. Uh, not wanting to really, I right. mean, the Sopranos they recognize, but not for whatever reason, not wanting to elevate these shows any higher than they already are. Listen, I, don't, I don't know. We can go into like all the sort of social issues or the racial issues and those things, but there's one thing that I think that's really, really clear, like you brought up really er earlier. Sometimes they're so hard to watch that we can't get the audience huh. who's voting. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like oh, all right. Because like, when you watch The Wire, listen, I got to tell you, when I watch The Wire, man, I'm depressed yeah. for a little <laughs> while. Like afterwards, I'm a little like yeah. down. And, and you got to you gotta put the subtitles on if yeah. you're white guy. <laughs> 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 what did you say? What did say? <laughs> and then they probably go subtitles. <laughs> and they Excuse put on the Drew Carey jive. show. <laughs> oh, this makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Airplane. I speak jive. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I learned hey, a lot mofo? about the street. <laughs> but yeah, I think sometimes Sometimes it's really tough. That's a like really good point. Yeah, sometimes those shows are tough. Like uh, a little too heavy, maybe. They, they get a little heavy. Like whenever I would we go back to Oz every mm -hmm. season, I would rewatch the previous season just so I could remember where I was. And mm. and honestly, for like a week or two, I'd have nightmares. Mm. You know, wow. because you have that much like sort of violent shit in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know it's and so, that, that's what I actually think. Some of that stuff is really not really everything you walk away from is supposed to like have a smile on your face. And go, right. that was a great movie, right. Right? a good show. Right. Sometimes you want to just be like, oh my god, that was. Right. Ugh. right, you know that was right, horrible. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I watch TV to escape the, yeah. my problems. Exactly, a lot. That's exactly I'm joking, it. I'm joking. <laughs> I just hate when people say that. No, no, the, I don't need to be do. reminded of how awful the world is. I, just, I need See, an escape. I, I, I like stuff like that. Say that. I like shows like that, but I can't watch like hospital shows. They give me the heebie-jeebie so bad, like, I can't watch House. House. No. no. It's another child with a bleeding rectum. House has to figure out what... No. I can't watch... Because then, like, it, the people always come in and go, yeah, I just got a pain in my ear. And uh, then they're they... convulsing on the day, and I'm like, I got a pain! <laughs> ah! I got a pain! <laughs> I don't want to die! <laughs> you know what, what's the hardest one for me is uh, intervention. It's really? The first half uh... is hilarious. 
when you're just watching the guy hammered falling oh, through a yeah. screen door. <laughs> like, this guy drank a case of beer before oh 11 God. in the morning. He's sucking down scope. It's hilarious. And then they get to the second half, and I was raped by my uncle. Under, you know, just, oh. And then yeah, you just like, hear, oh. hear why they, was, they like that. That, that is impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That is a schizo show. Fucking, Absolutely. I haven't actually seen that one show. That show that's you got to see. They had this amazing. one girl. This girl would, like, drink half the Navy under the table. Like, she would just sit in the, She didn't even stick with any sort of hard liquor. It was just anything. And right. she would just... just slugging these things down and then stumbling out to a pickup truck so i'm howling laughing my girl's punching me and everything and then they start telling her story her dad didn't stick around and she thought you know to get attention she was showing her titties right. and then she's dancing this cheerleader number and the whole school starts chanting whore at her oh, she's in the gym geez. it was yeah, horrific that's horrible that's what i'm saying but, <laughs> wow. but, but in the beginning though it's funny when she's falling oh. down you she's were... doing face plants. Come on, you got. If you're a fan of the Three Stooges, <laughs> half of it. Not... Slapstick is hilarious. Gag but those are always good. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, you were one of the chanting guys, you oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Look at this drunk horn. It's hilarious. <laughs> drunk horn. Yeah. Oh, and you feel all Christ. bad about it and during the second half. When that, the family's that, crying. And, and that, the biggest loser, though, is the best laughs on television. I just, I just, I laughed the, the entire time. Yeah. When they cry about eating cookies, and I just the whole fucking thing is hilarious. To me. I just don't find it to be a disease. You're a big reality it, TV it's, fan. It's gluttonous. Oh. <laughs> I can, I cannot even watch reality television. I I can't stand it. It's all like the the real world season one. I right. think was reality television. Right, right, right. Marginally. The Osbournes. Was the Osbournes. Was pretty and, real. You know yeah. anything else? It's like all scripted shit. You right. can tell these people are acting assisted poorly. Poorly. Yeah. 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 Assisted. Yeah. <laughs> Assisted that's reality. Really that now. That's oh, what really? they call it on Family yeah. Jewels. Uh, yeah, they actually Assisted give them things, they give them things to do, so they're not really living their lives, and the cameras are there. Now they're telling them, "Well, why don't you go to the gun range and right. and we'll film that and we'll film that shooter, they, shooter." Because yeah. they, yeah. yeah, they found out that these people are really boring if they're just living their real life. Yeah, and then they have to go through like eight hundred so hours of footage to get assisting yeah. their lives. And right. That's why I like a good. Out. I've always I've always uh, loved the cop shows. They had the hospital shows and the cop shows. Right, right, right. I was always a fan of the cop shows. Actually, I'm digging some of the, the, the reality cop shows because they have like the oh yeah, those are the really ones. good. Yeah, I love to check out the ones from like they do the flashback that like the drugs in Miami back in the day. Like, yeah, that shit is kind of interesting. All that <laughs> on uh, yeah, the history uh -oh, and is that funny? No, I'm what? just no, you know what? This is what I'm laughing about. You guys are talking about all these great dramas and all the good writing, and I'm like, you know, and I'm watching Intervention, and I'm watching The Biggest Loser. I just realized you got a great actor in here, and he's just, and he's just going like, oh, so you like reality, huh? You fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I have my that's friends are unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I gotta do every TV job I get. Yeah. No, no. Hey, do you have a theory? Now, I know you don't know because I, I've heard um, uh, Matthew Fox is the one actor that knows what happens at Lost. It could be right. wrong. Right. Do you, again, you probably know maybe a little more than most people. Do you like? Do you have a theory as to what the fuck is happening, or do you honestly have no idea? I honestly have no idea. Like I, I, I know less than most people because I'm, I'm, you know, like I don't, I, I don't get the scripts anymore, so I, I don't know anything. Hmm. Why does Michael all, Fox know? Uh, Matthew just, Fox. Uh, Matthew I, Fox. I don't know. No. That was just what I heard. But that's a, bit, a pretty strong rumor. I, that's again. I, I, this huh. is how stupid I am. I, somebody said it, and I just repeated it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been someone. I knew there was something to you that might have statement. told me that, and I just repeated it. <laughs> I think I floated that one on my Twitter. <laughs> I bought it. Matt Fox knows what's going I, to happen. And, I, and I'm fucking saying it like, well, you know, obviously Matthew Fox knows. God, am I a fucking no, phony? I, I'd actually heard that myself. That he's the only one that knows. And, Harold, uh, let's I, make news. I, I didn't ask him. Wow. Let's make news today. Just, just say on our show, you know what happens. Okay, and you're going to reveal it. I don't know, in like six months from right it, now. No, they reveal uh, it in the uh, the premiere of the unusual. Yeah, there there you go. Yes. <laughs> April eighth, right after Lost. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find out my... what's going to happen on Lost. Yeah, I'm going to start my new me. show by telling you what happens on Lost. <laughs> exactly. Now that's a marketing move. That's a marketing move. <laughs> See, <laughs> online apparently Travis said there's like big uh all these like I, I I thought I was brilliant when I said I think that they're all dead and it's purgatory and then like yeah fuck it everybody's been Everybody saying that since the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Thinking I figured it out. Yeah. But they, then I heard that they're not dead. That's the one thing that, that like, J I think J.J. Abrams, we had him call That'd in. be so hack. I mean, that would be like, And they're yeah. dead. Oh, we get yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Six like sense dude, guy, yeah. Dude right. waking up and it was a dream from fucking Dallas. That would be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be a hack That's probably movie. what happened. And then yeah. people start saying how lame it is. So they rewrote and spun it to, into something else. And apparently else. they had known from beginning to the end of this series 
exactly, exactly where they're going. Well, here's the thing. This is what, this is what I do know. Like that they they, they knew the beginning and they had a uh, they had an ending. How they were going to get there? Wow, that's oh, okay. been the tricky. That's been the tricky yeah, thing. Yeah. Kids growing up, people leaving, right, people right, not You're, happy. How you get there? That's been the tricky bit. But I, I've heard that they know from the beginning and they knew the end. When is this thing? Now, do you end? still watch the show? Do you? Um, I watch no. it once in a while, you know. Yeah, hell, <laughs> hell no. no. Fuck them. It's I like, watch them. Watch it some <laughs> fucking <me>. woman. <laughs> I never liked They know that. black people in that show. I don't watch it. <laughs> um, no, no, man. I watch it once in a while when I can. I'm trying, you know, like I said, yeah. I'm trying to work. And busy, and be busy guy. Yeah, yeah, man. That's man. good. So I got two kids. And and when is, uh, when is Law supposed to end? That's cool. Uh, uh, next know. season. Next season. For real? Six seasons, next season. Six seasons. That's it. There's going to be people like killing themselves. Yeah, You know when people do that? They go, I'm going to kill Yeah. Because if they don't have six seasons, if they keep going on the Harlem Globetrotters will show yeah, up yeah yeah it's with, gonna be with Harlem Locklear and yeah. like, hey, like, look who it is <laughs> they had a laugh track and <laughs> exactly it'll be terrible so they yeah. they really need Lee to Majors get to does a guest star <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's Lee Majors everybody's on the island <laughs> wouldn't it be great if it just ended and it turned out they were all just rehearsing for a big musical <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole thing <laughs> they, they explain it they sing some <laughs> cheesy song and the show what the fuck was that <laughs> to the left dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway <laughs> no matter what they do people are going to complain like some people think it's brilliant exactly right and I of mean course. to me the last MASH ended the way MASH had to end the Korean War end. so you understood how yeah. that ended right but, like, but then you got get like a, you get a Sopranos, Sopranos got, a got a lot of criticism because yeah. yeah. they just kind of they don't. Sex like, hey, in the City, no criticism. No oh, criticism. The show like sucked. And, I was just happy what? it ended. I hated Sex in the City. <laughs> you're just, oh. you're heathen. Were you in it? You're Philistine. Were you in it? No, I wasn't okay. in it. But I loved it. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I really did. I really did. Uh, um, but yeah, they didn't get any criticism. But yeah, Sopranos got... Yeah, yeah. Sopranos got hammered. That was a weird one. That was almost on purpose, because that was a bizarre... Well, they owed the us music. a little more than that. Come yeah. on. Because you a think that your TV... Like, they, they made people think their TV broke. Yeah. They actually did. Yeah, people were calling the cable company. What the hell is? What happened? <laughs> I don't need it all wrapped up nice in a bow, but I really thought they should have gave us a little more. Like to go the wire. I like no, I loved it. I loved the ending. Did you like did it? it? The same reason why I enjoyed watching Sean Avery last night. Just fucking annoying people. I just love. <laughs> I just love that annoyed everybody that their lives are so fucking wrapped up in it. It's like you know. And he goes, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah, exactly. fuck you. This is real life. He right sat here. in a diner. Exactly. He had a grilled cheese sandwich. Go fuck your yourself. <laughs> That's great. I think he was yelling at all the people that had, like reality TV like yourself, Bill. Here, here's, here's a reality moment. Yeah, reality. Reality. No, no, no. This they might like, just be eating. Yeah, they go to the diner and she can't park her car correctly. That's it. Sorry. I got to blame Dad the reality ball. TV thing. Um, my, my girl watches reality. I got, you know, I got the NHL package. She's, she nice. watches reality. So it's like this, that's the big beef. That's why I miss all the good shows because I'm always watching you know, of love. the games. And <laughs> now, she, watched that, uh, she watched one episode of Mama's Boy Mama's boy, and there was a quote on there that was so fucking bad. I had to like memorize it. It was basically basically usually show they take twenty whores, they put them in a house, <laughs> and some guys trying to pick from the whores to get a wife. <laughs> okay, and they have whores from every race. Holy so shit. the mama's boy's mama comes up, says he doesn't want her her white kid to get with one of the with one of the, one of the black girls. So everybody flips out. It's this big racial moment. So this one of the whores tries to set the mother straight, going, "You can't, you can't say that." That's like when, when Adolf Hitler was talking about certain stuff about what he was saying. <laughs> Little, that's, that is a direct fucking quote. And I was like, what? I have to fucking... Oh I gotta memorize that I gotta that memorize one. that. That is so fucked up. Wow. That's like that's... when Hitler was wa talking about certain stuff about what, what he, he was, was saying. saying. Wow. That's, that's how World War II started. That was yeah. Yeah. Cool way. Hitler was talking about certain stuff yeah. about what he was saying. Exactly. Studied every one of his Nuremberg speeches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Wouldn't it be great if The Sopranos wow. ended with Tony coming out of the closet to his family? Uh, <laughs> I'm a homosexual. <laughs> the music is played. <laughs> what the fuck? What? People have just been At least, least it would have wrapped it up. <laughs> yeah, they might as well have, right? Yeah, come on. Some people so. say it ended like that because then the movie was supposed to, you know, they were going to go right into a movie and yeah. then the movie starts Are they going to a, a movie? diner. Well... But they lost the Christopher. They lost fucking yeah, uh, Sharepa. The Sharepa yeah. had great death I, scene. I guess they came out and said there's going to be no Christopher died. I didn't see the finale of it. Christopher died. He, they, he, uh, uh, he was in a fucking car accident with Tony, and he was getting a little bit unpredictable. So they had a car accident, and Tony saw that he was fucked up. And you could see Tony think, and then he just fucking pinched his nose and covered his mouth and killed him in the car. 
Oh, I didn't. Holy shit. You're yeah. kidding. Yeah, because that was. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't see the film. Because he was kind of becoming a loose cannon in the last season doing coke. Yeah, yeah. I think Tony mm-hmm. saw he was going to be a problem and just saw an opportunity and said, fuck it. I, I can't have this guy. He might die anyway, so we'll make sure we. Uh, yeah, so I guess without him, you couldn't do the movie. Could It'd you, be right? kind of harder, I think. I yeah, mean, yeah. Uh, you know, pretty strong pretty character. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, he was. You know, he could, but. Yeah, recast it into would a suck. prequel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard Tony Sirico. Uh, that's what he say his name. Uh, Paulie Walnuts. The one thing he was like was just don't make me a fucking rat. Don't make me. Uh, really? Like he didn't want it. That was one thing he said. It's, like, he, it's not you, really, you dummy. He's uh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. He was the real fucking thing, though. He wasn't some. Actor, he was, you know, I don't yeah, mean to yeah. say it like actors. No, 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 no. He's, yeah, yeah. You know, he lived that I, life. Everyone I did this, knows I, that. Yeah. I did this movie, Felon, and we had we would we doing it in a, a is it taking place in a prison, and they were like these uh, northern and southern Mexican gangs, and really these mm. guys were like backgrounds, but like if they were from the north, they were like, no, hey, don't fucking put me over there with the southern like. It's like it's I a saw, movie, yeah, dude. I saw like, a whole thing on that. It's a movie. They, they yeah. don't fuck around if if that's really the yeah, lies. They don't care. It's one of those you shows you were talking movies, about. Yeah. I was watching. They have. Uh, it's called Gangland, I guess. And so, mm-hmm. uh, documentary on a bunch of gangs. And yeah, there's like the Southern Mexican gangs and, and Northern, Northern Mexican, yeah, and yeah. they fucking hate, hate each, each other. other. Yeah, bro, but it's that, amazing. Yeah, yeah, but you can't put them in movies. And, yeah, you can't put. But people who have real lives like that, they. They have yeah. real, uh, real issues about certain shit. Yeah, he so. went to jail, man. Tony, he did time in prison. He's, he's like, you know, he was a fucking tough guy yeah. in Brooklyn. He and he never ratted. Yeah, he fucking <laughs> kept his mouth Don't shut. Don't make me a rat. Don't make me a rat. <laughs> Take your pinch like a man. <laughs> Jesus. We're all going to get whacked. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Harold, this was awesome, man. No, I'm serious. This oh, was I had a, a good time, man. Yeah, so. I, no, I'm not even joking. We yeah, had we a great hang. time we're, with you. We're going to tell you the truth. It was cool. And I think we're all going to check out the unusuals next Wednesday, April. 8th at 10 p.m. on ABC right after Lost. Yep. Right after Lost. Just don't change the channel. Start don't right change there, man. And it Easy. isn't a continuation of Lost. It's no. different. I won't say Walt. He won't One be looking time. for Walt. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if you were just a cop on the island arresting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I figured it out. <laughs> I theorize about Lost that they might be playing a fucking game of some sort. I, I, some, some part of me thinks that they're all in a mental institution somehow tied in and they're playing some kind of a weird Dungeons and Dragons type of game, which would explain where all this weird shit happens. You know, I, uh, that's interesting. I, I, my, mm. I have a theory that's like, you know, those guys who uh, like created like Est, and then uh, so, then uh, um, like uh, the sensitivity, sci- the sci- Scientology. You yeah. know, like a lot, all those guys knew each other. And like they all like sort of grew up in philosophy and all this stuff together, and they all like I'm gonna go out and start a religion, and they kind of all separated. I think that's what's going on. Ben and what's her name are trying to start like figure out this shit about, you know, how mm. the world works, and they've stuck these people on the island, and it's probably a, I like Jimmy's not, theory. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, because the <laughs> island is full of shit. I, mean, no, I think it's some kind of role playing game. Because the island, because of the things that happens, and with time travel, that just if, if these people aren't dead, right? Um. It makes sense at the end to show them all in some kind of a fucking nut house, and every person has a role. Like, you know, one of them is a doctor. You realize Hurley is this. Because they allude to that with Hurley. I like that you don't like that. I I hope it all ends in a diner. You guys all start crying again. (laughs) Unless time travel is possible. They get rescued. They end up in a diner. (laughs) It's bullshit. Exactly. We'll go with love and touch and squeeze, and we'll let that one end. (laughs) (laughs) But Ben with the fucking ship steering wheel on the island was just a little bizarre. That was bizarre. He's got the island's blinker is on. What are you doing, Ben? What are you doing? I have the, no idea I, what that means. I mean, the I, last... You'll find uh, out. You're going to start watching. Yeah. You'll find yeah. out. The last is, episode there, that whole paradox thing with Ben. I didn't see the last ben. one. I won't talk about it, but Ben and Saeed. Uh, oh, I missed that one. Yeah. I didn't see it. Oh. No, I won't say anything. Blah, blah, but, blah. But yeah. it, I, I, my DVR fucked up with two minutes left. It was the most Don't important two minutes of, of an episode. So I ran to two other TVs <laughs> to try to find the DVR because... They're all set for lost in my house, just in case of such an emergency. <laughs> so, so I was like in two, and I almost had to go downstairs. But I caught the last two minutes, and that was like, holy shit! It just spins your mind around. Yeah, you know, just like <laughs> that's amazing, man. You like yeah. the show that much? Oh, yeah, fucking he's a big fanatic. Fan. This picture of you walking around your house all creepy, I'm like, like son a of candle, a bitch. panicked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like some sort of hoodie, <laughs> just, <laughs> one of those little pads <laughs> lights. <laughs> Shit! Shit! Mom, what kinds of swords on your wall? Ah, <laughs> <Wow>, pumbug! <laughs> All right, man. 
<laughs> so are we ending the program? Go. I think we got. Well, we got to go to break and then just yeah. kind of wrap up. Okay, and yeah, uh, tomorrow morning supposedly we have what? We got Don King. No, in we're and, we're uh, coming back. Okay, we just got to do. You, you don't want to hang around as we give shit away from our office. Uh, okay, okay. Star. I'm going to hang out. So I'm, I'm a big star. I'm a big celebrity. <laughs> right. I mean, right. if you want, you're, you're more than welcome. welcome but I'm going to get the hell out of here. We're trying to give you the good out. Thank you very much. Not the hey who wants a t-shirt. You're still sitting. here. You're good guys. Leave leave them wanting more. Yeah, exactly. All right, fellas. Imagine how annoyed he'd be watching us give away our office yeah. shit to the fucking audience. Oh, oh. I, got a, I got a hat! Yeah. Right here. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, whatever, big star. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to get that New, New York Islanders jersey over there. <laughs> Which is a, it's a handsome jersey, yeah. I guess. Harold, say. you got to come back when the that show is. starts kicking in. You know? I will, man. If it's a big old hit, we'll come back. And, yeah. uh, Harold, and you say Perrineau, right? Perrineau, so, yep. yeah. Harold Perrineau, The Unusuals, next Wednesday, April 8th at 10 p.m. on ABC. All right, fellas, thanks a lot, man. There you go. Nice. There's Harold. We'll uh, end the show next. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bill Burr. It's good having Bill around. Bill's going to be here for the rest of the week. We got the big gig uh, Bill Burr's doing at the Trump Marina this Saturday. First show sold out. Second show, tickets still available. Get him now, though. That's right. It was Young Joe DeRosa. Young Joe DeRosa. We love One of the up-and-coming stars. Mm -hmm. Yes. On the Opie and Anthony show. Young Mother. Star of the Opie and Anthony show. It's going to force you to move back to New York. No, no, I am very happy for Joe and <laughs> yeah. all his success. Yeah. He's like the Oliver we're bringing in for the Brady Bunch. <laughs> also, we're going to get a call. Yeah, no. yeah, we're in the fifth season. We're in the fifth season <laughs> yeah. of me being uh, what a fourth chair here. Yeah, it's, it's time just... to bring in you know the new, the, the young Joe. All of a sudden, we're all going to hey. get... We're the, gonna... the Nick <laughs> Dayton Mallory. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Oh, remember that? Yeah. Hey. We're all going to get phone calls from Bill. Hey, guys, I decided to move back to New York. Hint, hint. Yeah. No, no. You, whenever, you, whenever you fail in L.A. and then you move back. That's you not ne- a good you, thing. What, no, you never let people know that you've moved back. You just say, I'm just spending some time in New York. Ah, that's and you let true, people yeah. gradually figure it out over yeah. eight oh, months. Oh, like, I see. I see what yeah. happens. Spend yeah. some time. So where's your place in L.A.? Uh, what place? Huh? I don't have a place. I got a uh, Santa Monica. I I, yeah. I sublet it with. Uh, yeah, I got a little beach place. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna go money. Surfing. With the economy the way it is, I couldn't refuse, yeah. so I just took the money. And, yeah, you know, I, I was doing a Law and Order joint. back here, and then like some yeah. other stuff was um, yeah. pending. You can always say no. you're doing Law and Order. No one's gonna like yeah. you know check up on you. <laughs> I'm the only person in New York that has not done a Law right. and Order. I think Bobby just yeah, did one, right? Bob's wrong done 400. Yeah, I can't do it. I don't even know if that's true, but you don't check on the Law and Order credit. I um, Dude, you know, <laughs> you know what, dude? I play a guy. Just, <laughs> yeah. Ask you back, I go back, Guys, dude. Sam is chomping at the bit here. I mean, oh, come on, wow. it's time to give away uh, more stuff from our office. This right. is this this is hey, the good stuff. You guys have fun today. It was a good show, right? Yay! I gotta like be honest, fucking though. Fucking Wonderama. You picked the wrong day. Tomorrow's the big day. Who is coming on tomorrow for real? It is going to be ridiculous. Don King. Rick Flair, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Yes. We got um, Jay Bill Moore, Burr, of course, here all week. Jay Moore's in. I think Jay's coming back again. Jay Den- Moore. Uh, maybe he. I think he might come back one more time on Thursday. I think Dennis Leary and uh, Adam Ferrara uh-huh. are coming on, in tomorrow. Ooh. Here, here. Steve's got the lineup. Listen to this right. lineup for tomorrow's show, and this is no joke. So far. So uh, far, suck cock in morning. <laughs> then take <laughs> butt plug in at. Oh, wait, that's my schedule. Yes. yes. That's my calendar. Let me go and get the line. I cow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good one. I need this. <laughs> the improv master yeah, strikes okay. again. All right, uh, who we got tomorrow? Apply Sweet. baby tomorrow. oil. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Good one. Um, Here comes the rage. Uh, nah. Bill Burr, obviously. Adam Ferrara. Don King. Chris Russo. Waiting on Chris Russo is coming in tomorrow. That's Mike the Mad... Uh, well, Mad Dog. The Mad Dog. Uh, from, uh, yes. Mike and the Mad Dog show. Now it's just the Mad Dog. And uh, we're waiting to hear back from Dennis Leary and Ric Flair and Roddy Piper. Damn. So, yeah, complete cluster. Oh, my goodness. Damn. That's right. going to be guest a, in, guest out. Not a minute to ourselves, Jimmy. Yep. Hi, how are you? What are you plugging? All right, all right, good. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll leave. Next. Next. The saying you have to leave. Next. Smile for picture. <laughs> Sign. Goodbye. Yeah. It's going to be a factory in here tomorrow. Ka-ching, ka-ching, sign, yes. goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Plug your shitty project and hit the fucking bricks, <laughs> asshole. Fe- <laughs> Tell your story walking. That's right. Yell your plug on the way out the door, fucko. <laughs> <laughs> Yell about your fucking mediocre project. Just because we have so many guests, we don't have to be that rude to yes, them, Yes, we do. <laughs> Hi, couldn't get on Good Morning America. What are you plugging? <laughs> Hello, asshole that couldn't do Regis. What do you got for the show? I thought so. Nothing. Oh, wow. Really? Are you wrestling again? 
Yeah, Rowdy said, Roddy you just, Piper. You just insulted Sam. Let me tell you a, a little movie thing. I'm going to have to bring in for him I'm, to sign. What? Uh, um, they Live, my How friend. How Comes to Frogtown. <laughs> what? What is it called? How it Comes to Frogtown? <laughs> How <laughs> Comes to Frogtown. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wonder yeah, if I have a hard yeah. copy of They Live. I own it, actually. You do not shut up. Okay. Uh... I'm going to have to run out and get one. Yeah, I think I might have to also. I yeah, have over the yeah. top on Laserdisc. <laughs> Is that a Stallone movie? Yeah. <laughs> fucking, what a great thing to have. What? You, Bill, you got to just frame that. I don't know why. I don't have it. I'm just I was oh, trying to pick uh, the like, random he thing. Spins his hat around, and he's got yeah. to arm yeah. wrestle to get his son back. Yeah. Well, his arm wrestling Walter. was a metaphor. <laughs> And then it's with him and... Uh, our wrestling was a <laughs> We all struggle in life, Anthony. Yes, I see. Oh, I didn't get that. And you can always it, no. turn things around. Yeah, oh, That's ah, what the hat... Yes, ah, there's a lot, God, lot of know, layers to that so movie. fucking profound, that uh, yeah. Stallone. I love when he did comedy, Oscar, and Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. What a fucking witless clod. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking witless boob. <laughs> oh, what, did he, what was the one he did with um, Dolly Pardon? Oh, I love that movie. Ryan St oh, no, oh, fuck it, not Ryan... Uh, yeah, hey, what are you called me with a pork just chop? called Rhinestone, right? Nice tits, Lesbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that the movie? <laughs> no, I like <laughs> Big tits and a hair lip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking cop buddy movie they did. Don't you remember when he was bombing as a country singer and they give him all those comebacks to the crowd? <laughs> was hey, it just what, called Rhinestone? What, what'd you comb your hair with a book, chop? Yes, you're right. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Rhinestone. Rhinestone. Did, yeah, Rhinestone. Did he say that? Did you no, call it's me really bad. Pork chop? Yeah. Mm. Mickey. Yeah, make me uh, coffee eggs. <laughs> Ugh. It was called Rhinestone. Okay. That's right. what it was. There we go. Just simple all Rhinestone. Right. That's it. With that, let's go back to Sam. Sam, give some of this shit away okay. as we say goodbye to everyone today. That All wasn't right, compelling, well, Opie? It was fine, though. It was <laughs> Love fun. that. We got to get the fuck out of here. We got a okay. meeting standing by. This young Who's the woman is... from the 18th century in The Rocker? Who? Oh. <laughs> 18th century. That's... So she'd be sewing a flag. <laughs> That's Mrs. Travis to you. And she's kind of, she kind of is doing that, except <laughs> instead of sewing a flag, she's married to a fag. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, he married for that Betsy one. Russ. Betsy Ross. Lisa. Have some respect. She's uh, with child. One lucky oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> one lucky fan. Jesus. This is really awkward. This dirt. is really fucking awkward, isn't right, it? Let's go. Go, Sam. What? I didn't hear. Hey, congratulations. Dustin Diamond got some fucking dirt. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow, you mean. <laughs> Here's a Voss Sucks t-shirt for you, young lady. Is that from the Comedian Prize package? Excuse me. You sound here's, funny when you talk, and you walk a, funny when you walk. Yes. Maybe you could give out a Mad Magazine and sign one with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Jimmy Day t-shirt for you who I'm making eye contact with. They're fighting over it. Yeah, they sure uh, are. Yeah, look at here's them. Here's a Million Past March t-shirt for you. Wow, dude. Look, he, he got it like, oh, fuck, I got it. WNEW like, -E Wow t-shirt. It's wow. like he's giving away herpes. For oh, you. Fuck. I got it. I know. There Everybody's trying to make themselves exactly. smaller. <laughs> yeah. It's a manila fucking envelope full of toenail clippings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. We have Derek's bottle of good wine. Ah, ah. that's good. Hey, at least it's drinkable. Pass this to the older gentleman. He Maybe. looks like he could appreciate it. <laughs> the older gentleman. Uh, our WWE package. Autographed photos package. of MVP, JBL, Matt Stryker, and the Chris Benoit action figure. Now, the Benoit oh, action figure is you. a collector's item, that I really would say. Is. Absolutely. Not many more of those going to be coming out. <laughs> We're starting to get to some really good stuff. The cordless joystick. Without the piece that goes into the computer. No, it's cordless. <laughs> 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 Along Without with the a Midnight piece. Club t-shirt and an autographed cup of dirt goes to the man behind Carlton. Wow. Wow, man. That's... What a lucky dog. Dude, you the, got... the man hiding behind Carlton. <laughs> you got a good one. What about these giant signs and the Islander jersey? Yeah, those those are, are coming. Jersey! Uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's Day banner goes to you. Thanks, ah, because he looks like a leprechaun. Oh, yes, that's, that's right. true. Just a tad with the beard. I... The giant Opie and Anthony and Steve Dahl subway banner. <laughs> Jesus. 
goes to the other man behind Carlton. Wow. This, this is play that just, in your home. So someone doesn't have to come in and, and put it in away. a big thing and bring it down the freight elevator into the dumpster. Except for the no, Brian Regan autograph, cup of dirt. Yeah, he, here's what that is. That's This is for us because we don't want to realize that five years worth of stuff is garbage. Trash. We have accumulated garbage. Garbage for five yeah. years. Nothing uh, of value. Nothing well, good that as anyone As you say wants. that, Jimmy, you're going to want to take those words back, because what do we got next there, Sam? I see it. A garbage. Jim Norton signed poster. <laughs> A Jim Norton signed poster is garbage, Jim Norton? It certainly is. And this is Patrice O'Neill's old hat that he signed. It's, oh. It, wow, wait. An and A's this hat. goes... Because he you. liked the A's all of a sudden. Wow, wow you, you, you can display them. You can get a mannequin head and put the hat on it and frame the poster with museum glass, of course, yeah. so the yes, sun doesn't affect yes. the autograph. Uh oh, <laughs> what's that? This is a framed picture of you and Anthony with a bunch of fans at the I Bashed a Bronco with Opie and Anthony event. Let me tell you a little wow, something that's, about that. That's that's that. Hold big. on, Sam. That's the first uh, appearance that Anthony and I made in New York City, my friend. Yes. And, what, and somebody's valuable. getting a picture? That's, By the way, that's that, kind of valuable. Wow, picture? That? moment right there pretty much was a turning point for the Opie and Anthony show. That's right. We were listening to um, Asshole over there at NEW. Which one? Asshole 1? Asshole, asshole number 1. Yeah. When we first got there. Yeah. And uh, then we decided to just, hey, let's just do what we want and kind of throw some shit together. And uh, we went out, got a Bronco and smashed it up. Because the Jets were playing Jets the Broncos. Jets were playing the Broncos. In the Ooh. playoffs. <laughs> Hacky. <laughs> <laughs> McQuacky. Well, we drank a lot. But, uh, that day. Yeah. And, and, that makes and it cool, the fans right, are there. And yeah. that was the turning point. Yeah. If I was 17, I'd show up. Is the ex wife in that? No. I don't think so. Let me see. Wait, who's that? Let's take a look. Uh oh, there could be a mystery. Ow, I'm could a shot, <laughs> oh. We're looking at the picture. This could be a mystery guest in the photo. Anthony is examining the evidence. His brow is furrowed. He seems no. confused. Oh, okay. Let me see yeah. it. Bum, 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 no, bum. Looks a little like her. The X. No, this was pre pre no, 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 but, but having, XX. Maybe having been at just at the oh, event. Oh wow, yeah. like Oswald showing up at something. Yeah, just or, or the event. Not. I'm just trying to see how many people now work for our show. Yeah, have you seen this there. picture? Uh, what year is that picture? Is that ninety eight? This is about ninety. Yeah, that's uh, New there. Year's Eve, nineteen oh eight. That wasn't the right. Show what the year was. Sorry, no, it was uh, nineteen twenty one. Was it 21? I would yep. never Give say that to somebody that's shiny here. I know. I'm sorry. Give Why it did to I me, think Danny. Ought eight? What else? Come on. We got to go. We got a meeting. They're standing by. Do we? What? Yeah. Little one. Quick one. Well, in the meantime, we have another one of those shitty World War II newspapers. Hey! All right. The whole thing didn't end the way I wanted it to, but... <laughs> and that goes to... Mr. Suck My Glock t-shirt. Okay. Suck My I Glock. Get it. Ah, there you go. Um, now we're getting to some fun stuff. I like the gun that Jeez. has the uh, on the muzzle right on the front. It says, um, smile and wait for flash. <laughs> it's cute, right? An autograph 8x10 from Opie, Anthony, and Jim, along with the Richard Cheese uh, shit dick paper, Gosh, an XM wow. mic flag, and an Opie and Anthony bag. Garbage. Just garbage. Ooh. Like, fucking garbage. Who gets that? Ooh cares you do. about this shit. It's I hate clutter, so I'm really actually enjoying this. Yeah, you're just watching it like... You're watching the couch become uncluttered. It's fantastic. <laughs> then you're going to watch the fucking... Right in front of the doorway inside the building become cluttered. Uh oh <laughs> yeah. He's grabbing the diamond. How about... Ah, uh, here it is. It's an Anthony Islanders jersey. Maybe yeah. there's an Jersey! Anthony, maybe maybe <laughs> there's an Anthony in the it audience is. that happens to like the Islanders. And yeah. This could be the, the valuable prize. Is today. there anyone named Anthony out there? All right. And do you like there the Islanders? Is. He oh, says he fuck. likes the Flyers, plus he already got something. All right. yeah. That's how you know someone hates your shit. When they're like, no, no, I already got something. Give it to yeah, someone else. Yeah, I got so. it. Fuck it. Great. That guy's middle name is Anthony, so he won. Ah, that's good enough. Yep. So he won. What about a Jim? Anybody named a Jim? Jim out there or a James? James Gum? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shirt with a moth in it. <laughs> that would be the All right. Well, this... what, what, what's the history behind those... Uh... When we got syndicated, jerseys. they would send us uh, yes. like uh, sports jerseys ah, and yes, stuff. Yes. That you would never wear. I got traded to Chicago never. for Bill M. Beer. <laughs> but it wasn't done by the Bulls. It was done by XM. They liked him better on third mic. <laughs> boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! The gym jersey went to someone who was lying about his name. Okay. Oh, okay. Who well, is that lucky stiff? Well, let's see if there's another Opie among us in the crowd that happens yeah. to be a Bulls fan. 
<laughs> whose name is Opie. <laughs> whose favorite number is whatever that the fuck guy is in on the this. glasses. All right. Good catch. Oh, look. You throw like a and girl. Name... Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, do you throw like a little fucking pansy. Is that it? No, I didn't want to throw it hard. It's indoors. Is, is that, that it? it? Is that it? No, E Rock's old hat. Oh, E Rock's old oh. hat. E Rock's Great. old hat. It's a virus hat. Who wants it? Who wants a cloth toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants E Rock's hat? <laughs> what about the bath mat? Here you go, young lady. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's oh, so God, funny. She's, she's holding it. All right, end with, oh. the, end with the virus rug. Maybe you should leave the Ron and Fez poster right. for Ron and Fez. E Rock put it here. It's all E Rock. Yeah. Well, oh, E Rock. Ronnie can blame E Rock. Uh, the oh. virus rug ends this show today. The virus rug. <laughs> wow, they're actually. Wow, they that's, actually that's, want that's an it. item. She's the closest. Oh, wow. And there you she's go. a girl. All right, with that, we're going to see everybody tomorrow. I, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Thank you. Absolutely. We'll see Bill Burr tomorrow. Our Ray ever Hall. increasing I, I, I audience. I got Jimmy. red eye tonight. I'll be on red eye tonight, and I'll be at Bananas in Poughkeepsie uh, this Friday night only. Two shows. Nice.